I'm a sexual. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, time for the section. So oh Dude, that was, that was great timing. Perfect timing as always. Oh, wait. Soko's fucking <laughs> camera is off, so now the camera's in the wrong order. Help. Hold on. I'll me I fix. mean, you, all you have to do is switch you and him, and everyone else is in the right place. Uh, I rule this session now. This is my domain. <laughs> no, you piss and don't. I mean, <laughs> I can do all that, yeah. And he don't. Hold. Hey guys, welcome to Dungeon Hi. Select. We're here after a, a little bit of a hiatus. Um, shout out to moving. It fucking sucks. And things are hectic. Real talk. Yeah, I but it. we're settled now. The lighting in my room sucks. So there's some, some flickering going on with my camera. I'll invest in the new lights to kind of counteract the... I think it's because I'm just not as well lit up as I was in my previous uh, abode. And some about these lamps here just kind of don't agree with my my camera but well I'll, I'll have that fixed at some point in the nearish future um same thing for for you know while i'm on it uh, due to the move i have not really been able to do shit um so i'm a couple of vods behind on the youtube i will start uploading i'll upload all of those tomorrow uh i think i'm down i'm behind one ds vod and then the charity thing that we did uh, just haven't gotten around to it because life is hectic but tomorrow uh during work i'll quickly just fucking I already have them ready. I just need to upload them to YouTube. That's really all I need to do. So I'll do that real quick. Uh, other than that, we're back. Hey, how's it going? Ready for some D and D gamers? Because I fucking am. I missed playing. Today's a double double TTRPG day for me because I had a Ooh. recording session for the. Um, podcast i'm doing for our witch faded souls game before this so I'm all about the nerdy you're today. being a super nerd today hell yeah yeah baby what what are you some kind of fucking loser <laughs> you bet oh fair enough uh <clears throat> wait hold on bless you thank you He's holding it out. Oh, the skibbity. Because, <laughs> like, I can't turn ads off. Like, they're set to the minimum. So, like, I'm just clarifying that in chat real quick because somebody got an ad. And... Yeah. Well, you could run... Oh, you could run a hit loads of ads right now and then mm -hmm. the pre-rolls are off. Yeah. Well, they only work for, like, an hour, That's... right? It's only an hour. It but depends it... how many ads you run. Yeah. So, an like, worth I, I basically, <laughs> the, the, like automatic ad system is set up to like the bare minimum least amount of ads i can do yeah. Without, yeah. while getting rid yeah. of pre-rolls which is i think is like what three like minutes three minutes yeah three minutes. so i'm guessing yeah. you know homie it's that's three minutes every minute. hour right something like yeah, that yeah that's what, we that's should what we should have ran them while we were setting up which uh well normally that it does like it's just automatic right? it's like a, oh. so i don't know why it, it got delayed but fuck it you know it there's nothing there's really is. nothing i can do about it like they're set to the least amount physically possible um, I apologize, but uh, sadly that is not in my control. Blame Twitch. Blame Daddy Bezos. Um, but yeah. Jeffrey Bezos! So, we're back after a couple weeks hiatus. Um, but now that, you know, I'm settled in a new house. Like, obviously we got the holidays coming up, but if, besides that, I don't really see any reason from my end to, to have to cancel some sessions here and there. I think I think I'm good to go now for the foreseeable future um so that's good um what yeah before we get into it yep i have had expertise in animal handling for the majority of this campaign and i think i've used it as many times as i could count on one hand most what? of those were last session for the lizard weirdly weird, weirdly <laughs> seven yeah that's, that's, weird. that's, that's crazy and it's just because he's bad at counting. He's like, one, <laughs> two, three, seven. Um, <laughs> well, back in the day, they used to count with like on the knuckles, like oh, one, two, three, four, five. So it's really? doable. Chat, is that real? Yeah. Chat, chat, is this real? It's live. Um, but yeah, we're here. The party, we're, you know, we kind of stopped at a. We, we took our little hiatus at a point where like, party had some downtime and we're about to get ready to kind of head on the next great big adventure so timing wise it, it worked out from a from a storytelling uh pov 
but uh, before we get into today's sesh, uh, it is session 100 of this campaign, by the way. That's crazy. Uh, which means, how many sessions was... Probably has to take his shirt off. <laughs> how many sessions was campaign one? Did we, did we... Uh, I don't know. Just over 100. 100. It was like 110, 113, no, something like that. It was, well, it's like 126, wasn't it? Oh my no, God. I don't think it's so. No, it was no, like, it was like 279. I'm just saying numbers. Because we don't, isn't it in that playlist incomplete on the YouTube? Yeah. So I can't just go check, like yeah, we're missing uh, some I of the different ones. <laughs> but, yo, I can see Koiba's boxes. I can see Koiba's boxes. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Fuck it, man. You were right here. Dude, yo, what the hell? You saw more than that. Am I right? Yo, what the hell? It's, uh, it's been a while. Since we did any been a while. campaign one related, we started the second campaign like fucking three years ago at this point. So years, years ago, since three years yeah. ago, I just it's, it's been a while, man. <laughs> it's been a fucking while. We're only a year behind. But um, session. 100 sessions is no small feat. Um, which is which is crazy, and and we're getting to a point where um, and only one character death. I think we had two at this point in campaign one by session 100. Yeah. Both were they both Sokos? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, hold on. Now, honestly, <laughs> no, Daigon's kind of died twice. She did. Really couldn't have died in Daigon. So. Yeah, I mean, it was two versions of Daigon dead, though. That's yeah, my yeah. favorite James Bond film, Daigon's Die Twice. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we're definitely in Looks like, like the, this cat only had two lives. lives. We're definitely in the in the like in the like final third of the uh, campaign. Things are the attacking third. If you the, we, the, the yeah. things are rapidly speeding towards the the confrontation that will end all confrontations um which you know there's a there's, we all know we, we all know what's what's what kind of confrontation is waiting at the end of all this um a certain many-headed colorful dragon Yo, orcus again <laughs> we're bringing orcus back <laughs> baby it's uh, a <laughs> But uh, there's still some stuff to do before we get there. Um, but before we get into the nerd side of things, anyone have any announcements? Anything they want to share with Klaus? Um, My Nether Deep campaign is on a bit of a hiatus right now, but for a very good reason. Uh, one of our players, Briar, literally like a day or two ago, has um, had their baby. Oh, no shit! Really? Yeah. Yep. So. Congratulations, Briar. So we're giving, we're, we're taking some time off so Briar can adjust to DMing them uh, right mom life. In now. Yeah, and also because we're in we're in the like end and like we literally I think maybe have like three or four sessions left total of that campaign, so I don't want to play without anyone. And also I'll be and then when basically whenever Briar says the they've got some you know balance in their schedule or they think they can do D and D uh, and parenting at the same time. Then I'll also be messaging Dutch because we're going to be bringing Dutch back since we're so close to the end. There's only a handful of sessions oh. left. Who would bring that back? What the fuck? But yeah, so it's on hiatus right now. There are two sessions I need to still upload to the YouTube, but I need to take some time editing them because Briar was having tech issues and couldn't use our caption um, program. So I have to manually edit her captions into the, the VOD. So Ooh, nice. that's why... There's two episodes not up on the YouTube yet, but they will be there. But it gives you lots of time. If you maybe want to watch the campaign, it's a good you campaign. have time to catch up before Fire. we do the last few sessions. And there's only, there's going to be like, there are 30, there'll be 35, I think, episodes total to watch. So you got lots of time. You got probably like one or two months to watch those and mm -hmm. catch up and then be with us for the end. Yeah. Absolutely. This is the end. And then uh, another fun announcement. Next month, uh, I will be raising money with SideQuest for Project Hope for their Hopeless campaign. But I had nice. a really exciting idea where, because I'm going to get a subscription to Crowd Control Pro because they just released Baldur's Gate 3 with Crowd Control. Oh, God. Ooh, and what I'm going to do is do uh, my first ever Dirge run. But Ooh. because of Crowd Control, the question is, will it be a dark urge where we resist or will it be a dark urge we lean in? I don't know, but chat will, because it'll be all decided via crowd Just, control. If so. you fully commit to, like, the evil motherfucker dirge playthrough, there's some fucked up shit, man. It's so we'll, good. We'll yeah, get ready. It's... We'll, we'll find I out. I have imagined we'll more dirge than we have. Have they? 
So well, it'll be yeah, I no, it's the, it's gotten worse. Didn't they also uh, add it, like it, a while ago? Didn't they add a way to add fucking Minthara to your party without the only without being a raging believe, cunt yeah. essentially? Yes, yeah, so you you yeah. can just like knock her out basically, and that's uh, fine, she'll bro. come join you eventually. What's it? Nice. Yeah, the latest or like the big update that Baldur's Gate Three did was uh, evil endings. So yeah, like more actual, evil endings. Ooh, that, like like expand like expanded evil endings as well. So like it has like yeah, and then there's like a whole like exposition now with your characters yeah. at the end and stuff like that. Yeah. Like very they, they very very, very divinity esque, right? Where it's like when you end, you yeah. get like a little yeah. thing of like this is what this character. Yeah, mm, yeah, kinda, very, yeah. Instead yeah. of it being like low, you're evil, and then like credits roll, right? XD. It's like yeah. you did evil. Credits roll. It like goes through it a little bit more. Nice. So, so if you want to be there for that chaos and also help support a great charity, then in December, come hang out for our Baldur's Gate 3 streams of Crowd oh, yeah. Control. When are you, also, wait, what day in December like, are you starting? When I um, look away, by the way, I'm not like not paying attention. I'm just very, that's fine. very like making sure that I that the internet stays stable because yeah. of that issue I had with the yeah, internet. Yeah, yeah. When we, this is the first time I've really streamed since. Yeah. So I'm like, the first Baldur's mm -hmm. Gate 3 stream, I think, will be December 3rd. Because December 2nd is the first um, of my book club streams. And then after that, we can do jump into Baldur's Gate. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Awesome. Sounds dope. Fuck yeah. Um, Anyone else? Uh, Thanksgiving next. Not this week, but next week. Who? Ask. Fuck Your off. Thanksgiving. I guess I, the I indirectly asked, game. right? It's like anyone else. And so uh, it's like... I'm a Monster Hunter streamer now. Dude, <laughs> hell yeah. When is, uh, when is Wilds out? Like, out, out. February. It's February 28th. February. Okay. So basically but forever. You, you, get, you get to keep your save. Like, you'll get some shit from your save data when you carry it over. So oh, I'll because be... of the beta? Uh... No, no, just like from your Monster Hunter world, like, oh. save. You, you'll, I guess you'll probably be able to import like your appearance and maybe oh, you'll get some rewards based on like whatever your master is. Is it like a, was. I mean, I don't really know the story convention of Monster, but is it like a direct like sequel I in that sense? I guess that was the or... case. I guess. Because normally those I, games I've are not, pretty like I've not watched any trailers. Of, other, I, right? Like, I'm staying, really I'm staying on it either, I don't think. quote, spoiler free. So I literally have no idea what Wilds is going to look like and I'm going to go and completely. I should have look at Monster Hunter's game. I could be wrong. Oh, dude, um, tomorrow they'll announce... Yeah, I'm, I'm playing a lot of Monster Hunter. Hell yeah. Tomorrow so they'll announce the nominees for, like, the fucking Game Awards. And they released a statement saying, like, that big expansion packs and DLCs can qualify for the awards. So we bought, we all know yeah. Shadow of the Earth is going to be winning Game of the Year this year, then. Oh, uh, if that's probably. the case. <laughs> well, wait, so they, they're Still changing that. that now? Uh, yeah, they released, like, a thing of, like, when, when a DLC can be considered... A game on its own because of its size or the difference in direction in content, or whatever. Yeah. Um, Makes sense. They they can they can be allowed to be considered for the categories that normally would go for like separate games. So well, game, see shit like Elden Shadow of the Earth Tree, which is just another one hundred hour Elden Ring soft yeah. sequel, like that qualifies essentially. Oh, hundred percent. I mean, um, which means is, like, which means that that like, is going to win game of the year this year. Basically, <laughs> it is impressive how big <laughs> yeah like, hey, especially when they're like you. oh yeah it's just a small little thing like don't get too worked yeah, up the map about is like limb grave size yeah fuck yeah. off miyazaki no the fuck it's not piss off <laughs> fucking liar like it's limb grave um, but it goes down for like you know 12 stories and um you know i, I need to finish shadow of the Earth tree desperately yeah you do i want to see you smash your head against the wall for another five mm -hmm. hours um, but with that said, um, let's play some D&D, &D, gamers. Um, la it's been a while, so last we left off, you, uh, you know, you, you returned to the city of Kalzir after a successful fight against your second of a total of four, uh, five? Five. five adversaries, five dragons. Um, and you kind of returned broken with the loss of a party member, having to rescue another party member from potentially the same fate as the party member that you had lost. Um, things were looking very dire. And when you returned to safety, having met a new ally along the way, um, you took some time off. It took a few days to kind of 
decompose, um, decompress, or decompose. Yeah, decompose is very uh, different. <laughs> I, I Dude, oh composing. my god. Is it, only, are you decomposing? I mean, Dan is decomposing. Listen, guys, I Dan speak Abby two Dan's languages. Dad. How many do you speak? Oh, Losers? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> are you decomposing? In what, that you did not. Mm, come on. You didn't just pull that card. I fucking did. And I will I mean, every I time I can. <laughs> guys. Guys, herds work, you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Well, God. that's what you get for, you know, you're okay, you get born in a shithole country. All right, fine. You have a shithole country language. that you want to move to. What are you talking about? <laughs> Don't tell him! <laughs> <laughs> a shithole country that you're in love with. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> It's been on my show. <laughs> Bro, I tried, I tried to look for an internship out there. There aren't any for me, it's sad. There are a lot of American expats here, to be fair. So there's definitely some Yeah, but some like, shit. they don't have like internships. Like, I, need a, I need a degree, basically. Oh, well, yeah, that makes sense. That makes yeah, sense. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, you uh, took some time to decompress, um, get to know your new party member, uh, have, some, have some fun, go to a night of drinking. Suddenly, Kess reemerged from... A long absence, and you had to break the news to her that uh, Daigon, which out of the party members is definitely the person Kess has had the most history with, um, was no longer with you. Um, which Kess had a very interesting way of responding to hearing said news. <laughs> very, very Kess. But uh, it's been it's now been a few days. You did some shopping. Um, if there's any shopping you guys want to do. Um, I asked you before, like, hey, just make a list. Brr, 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 brr. I'll give you the money that you have to subtract. Boom, but again, twice. Boom. Um, for the for the sake of not having a two hour shopping episode, uh, RP. Um, and then it's kind of up to you. I know Elazarin mentioned and and sought contact with his parents to to, to check on them. Uh, and Elijah has also been carrying around a potential cure for his father for a little while now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that might be the reason why I maybe should go to visit. Which, uh, it's kind of, you know, it might, might be a, poor, a good idea. <laughs> the poor, poor Kess going to be jealous. <laughs> um, and, well, well there's, there's before you guys head to the Plain of Fire, the City of Brass, to confront the Butcher, the most dangerous of the five Draconic Generals that you have to face, there's two more targets. There is Pillcutter, the white dragon, uh, which is closely tied to the element plane of air and also happens to be in an, the area where a certain cure for another party member's father might be uh, hidden away as well. And is there the is party. Nazarg, the black dragon, who, as far as you know, resides in the swamps of uh, Udrina, which is an un- Charted province up in Agrand, a, a province that neither the kingdoms nor the empire has ever been to. So you'd be going in completely blind as far as the terrain, as far as people that may live there, um, which is... It, that's a thing. It's, it's, it's pretty, you know, there's a lot, of, a lot of dangers, but potentially also a lot of yeah. allies. Uh, you? you also learned that Nazarg has powerful artifacts stored in his lair. And when you mentioned this to the Empress, she got worried and had someone check. And, and she didn't really fully express what it could be. But um, her suspicion is that those artifacts that Nazarg has might be very dangerous and powerful and linked to the elemental planes. Um so if that suspicion is true, uh, those artifacts need to be taken out of there and returned to the rightful owners or by proxy you guys um, because they're very dangerous, very powerful, but could prove helpful in your upcoming fights in this war between the elements and the dragons, which is really all that this is. Um, world history-wise... In the very beginning of the shaping of this world, there was a war between dragons and elements. And that war never truly ended. Um, but this is the first time in millennia where this war has kind of shown its face again. 
Um, and, and you are basically all just caught in the fucking middle of it all, having to kind of, uh, you know, you're the heroes, go fix it. Smile. Um, so that quick TLDR, quick, quick recap. If you missed the first 100 sessions, guys, there you go. You're welcome. 99 uh, sessions. Sorry. <laughs> the first 99 sessions. Um, but yes, and you all one. awaken after a night of drinking, a night of hanging out at the, uh, Tavern. Um, I believe that is pretty much the final thing we did. I don't think there was really anything yeah. else that happened. Yeah, that was between. Yeah, we went to bed. So you all awaken. I believe you went to go sleep in the uh, Heroes of Exile Guild Hall. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yes. So you all awaken there in your allocated rooms. Uh, barring Kess. I'm guessing Kess wakes up in her inside her own vessel. Um, yep. With Dagon. So. What would you yeah, all like to do mm -hmm. as you uh, as you all awaken, and you all kind of wake up with this feeling of like, you know, having some time off is nice, but it is that time again. Like we sh we should probably we should probably s get ready for whatever else fate will uh, throw your way. Uh, so what would you like to do? I'll just go find, like, wherever someone's making some breakfast and be waiting yep. for the rest of the party to show up. Because, again, being, like, the newcomer who's just been like, oh, my boss told me to be here. I'm not at the same level of investment as everyone else. I'm kind of being like, I'm going to go with what the group decides, so I'm not going to lobby too hard one way or the other. Which, whether we do side quests or MSQ, next. <laughs> MSQ. Fucking Final <laughs> Fantasy looking at us. <laughs> <laughs> Got to, I got to do my Jutsu roulette to level up. Oh, oh. I'm, ah, dude, I'm busy in the gold dungeons. source, so gambling my fucking life away. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll be downstairs straight away. Um, looking a lot like. Is this maybe been a couple of days since the drinking, or is it like the day? It's after the morning the after. This is, like, this is the morning after. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Basically, what uh, we'll say uh, is like if you. Do the shopping today we'll say like okay we go shopping and then we'll just you know this is the things you bought okay and then we'll just time yeah. skip to the end of the shopping. okay exactly that's fine uh cool uh i will come downstairs then looking quite haggard mm -hmm. not in a hungover way in a i didn't really sleep last night way mm. no long rest then for you not oh no i got like enough for a long rest but like we got the bear <laughs> Six Looked eight like hours, we got six. But I did baby. sleep enough. <laughs> yeah, got six baby, and it, was, and it wasn't like, a good up, six. And it was like woke up every hour for like a minute, went back to sleep, woke up every like that shit's so fucking good. Yeah, yeah, just like morning, morning sunshine. No need for that. What's what's being cooked? What's what's for breakfast? That's all. Yeah, there's just what? the usual like like breakfast spread. Uh, uh, and you'll see that at like the big table, you see that there is uh, this this um, I um, I forgot the fucking race altogether. Uh, Ganassi, with the 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 blue skin and the the flamey hair, just kind of very nonchalantly, kind of both feet on the table, chowing down on like an me apple. Like me last time. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Just kind of sitting there. Um, no one else seems to be around. It seems to just be just Ryagel that's sitting there. And as you all kind of enter the room, she just kind of nods at you all. Well, you look, um, you look like shit. And like, I'm offended. looks I over look the group, but like mainly just looks at Lazarin. Like, yeah. Why am I always the example? <laughs> <laughs> If I take it, last night yeah. was a welcome break. Uh, sure. <laughs> it was a solid attempt. Yeah. For some. Well, oh. drinking was had, sobering up was had. <laughs> hmm. I um don't mean to rush you in any way. But, as we know, you don't really have all the time in the world. So, I would urge you to 
pull yourselves together. And when you do, let me know so that we can talk about your next potential target. Discuss some plans. Discuss everything that there is to discuss. And then make arrangements for you to be sent off your merry way. And she looks... Normally, the, the conversation you've had with Ryagel, she's very... She tends to be very just like blunt and open and kind of whatever. Like very, very indifferent uh, about most things. Like very just like, ah, I think we'll be alright. But I'll say the last one because you have a passive insight of a million, don't you? <laughs> like, yeah, like 26. Yeah. This is the first time since you've met Ryagel where you're like, you, you, can, you can catch her mannerisms kind of slipping and there's definitely some sense of nervosity um some sense of doubt which you haven't really spot before before she seemed very very cool uh, uh, under all of this like very just like eh, we'll be all right whatever just the next problem this world has to deal with this is the first time where where there where she isn't really or doesn't manage to keep that charade up, at least. Okay. I'll just sort of look at her and just sort of take in what she's saying. Um, just wait. Well, I believe the choices are um, daddy number one, daddy number two, or dragon number three. So just waiting to see how the others are feeling. What? You either have to go see his dad, pointing at a Lazarus, uh, Little Blue's dad, or go to the sw Swamp Dragon. Um, and I guess that's one way to put it. Alright, well... I'll come in from outside at this point, by the way. Okay. Well, I don't know much about anyone's dads, but... As far as the white and black dragons go, I I do. So whenever you are ready to discuss that side of things, just let me know. And, uh, you know, obviously sooner rather than later. Once we know our plans fully, we'll inform you. Very good. All right. I won't intrude on your breakfast. And she kind of kicks herself up from the chair, takes one final piece of bread from the table and uh, leaves the room. I will... Is everyone now at the... Is everyone, like, at, been at the table this whole time? Or is, like... I I mean, yeah, Davion, Davion will join. Uh, yeah. Followed with the uh, dog Onu at his heels. Arf, arf. I thought you could say and Celesti. I thought you were going to say Celesti too. <laughs> Jesus begin today. Who um, was that, by the way? That's Rygal. One of the heroes of exile guild members. Well, Knows a lot mean. about dragons. Gave us some info. That makes sense. Good morning, yeah. everyone. Yeah, good morning. Um, on what we sort of discussed a little bit last night in our group bonding of alcoholism. Um, if it is not too much of an ask, I would like to go see if my parents are okay. Um, I probably should help cure my father of his ailment. You know what ails him? Oh, the fact that he's crazy talking about the override constantly. The thing where Grunbar, um has done to my entire family, trying to find his chosen hero. And the ones who don't go crazy, or point, like, sort of points to myself, are his champions. The ones that do, well, they just go crazy and die. So, you know. It's just. And you can <laughs> heal that? Uh, Grunbar gave me, like, some rocks to heal him i uh, he gave me like green i pull out like my body like two green gems that i got given i was like he's fucking give me some rocks and he said put them near him and he'll heal him so sounds legit funny you don't expect well, primordial lords to be into 
new age medicine, but... I mean, I assume that he knows what he's doing. He's well, I'm not who, doubting, I'm just saying that. it's funny. I mean, makes sense. Earth elemental. Well, he's a rock person, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's probably magic. It's fucking some magic bullshit on it. If it's just some rock, that's pretty fucking funny. I'll be honest. Like, if it's just a random bit of rock, like, you know, put some jade. I, this whole time, he just rubbed some jade on his forehead and he'd been fine, but like. So I would like to that, but if it is too much of a detour, considering we do have, you know, dragons to kill. I can wait. Just no, I think we can do it. It is a small trip to Thurbacar. Where are the dragons? Uh, one is in your home. <laughs> yeah, one, one is One's in, in the my home, but not my home. Air. One is in that unexplored what? part of Hagrind. And... The one's in the elemental plane of fire. Yeah. That's the, mm, that's the last one. one for sure. Yeah, the last, yeah, one, so the, the last one on the material plane is. In I think Hagrid. if you, um, I believe we discussed going after the one on Agrind first. Just I mean, it makes sense. Finish all the ones on one plane of existence. Well, and also it is the one that has apparently hoarding all the weapons that are powerful and could True. either help us or be a hindrance to us if used against us. So probably should deal with that. But also, guess I do understand that. You know, that other one is a bit more of a closer tie. Mm. I mean, how far have we got to go out of our way to see your father? I mean, so Magar, but I assume if we maybe tell uh, teleporting, I assume is quite easy between here and Thermogar. I don't know. I haven't done the trek. But... I mean, I'm pretty certain. This guild has some connections to Thermagar anyway, so surely they have some sort of infrastructure set up. You would hope so at this point, but you know what empire-wide well, infrastructures are like. Get us all the way to Agrind, technically. Wouldn't they have like more than a sigil just in, you know, <clears throat> the ruins? Because there's still New Eldor. New Eldor? New Darmouth? Well, New Darmouth? Well, no, like no. It's not New Deremoth up there, is it? No, what are you talking about? Are you talking about Thermagar? <laughs> Sorry, what are you talking about? Uh, no, 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 the other city, big city, big capital city on, um, uh, not the one in ruins. Um, fuck. Dementia, man. <laughs> it's tough. <laughs> so, the capital up there is Eldilon, right? But there is Eldilon, also but the, yeah, the other New Deremoth. Yeah, New Deremoth. What is New Deremoth? But no. you also know that New Deremoth is like... Uh, Nightweb night web headquarters. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, don't we have a we have a we have a, we have a uh, there was that the mage people in um we use their teleporting circle for to get back to Elon and then dragons attacked. Yes. Uh, he's right. He's reading. He's, he's, he's going through his notes, bro. Look, listen, to this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm literally trying to look for the names. Those guys, and we had those guys as well in, in that place. In that <laughs> I better thing. think I find it. Okay, it's been a while. <laughs> those people in that place with the thing that we used, and then we did oh, the thing. <laughs> okay, bro. <laughs> hey, don't don't handle my dimension, okay? That's not. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's good RP. It's good RP. Plus one. It's good RP. <laughs> Jack, Jack's going through his like mind palace, but it just yeah. shows like, him building a robot. He's like, what was I building there? Oh. Uh, uh, Port Albion? Is that where we were? Alphadil. That's where it was. Alphadil. Oh, that's, Alphadil. that's fucking... What fuck was I know? That's where you... you Yeah, that's where you had to go for Elazarin's introduction to... Grumbar, and also there is that arcane guild there that you use the teleportation circle of to get to and from. Also Eldorado. has nightwebs in it. So you Correct! <laughs> quite a lot of nightwebs there it's as well. It's almost like they're everywhere. Oh, Fidil. <laughs> but will you, Fidil? <laughs> yeah, but it gets us there so much quicker. Yeah, but also we're not, we're not allowed to. They told us not to use it. What? They told us not to use that type of port anymore. Because, Why? Like, the arcane, because the arcane guild were like, uh, what the fuck? Why are you using our fucking sigil? And they can <laughs> deal. They got angry at us. I mean, do we really care about that? 
I mean... What are they going to do to us? Oh, considering the fucking night webs part of them. Especially uh, Well, the high guy wasn't. It was just the one... Uh, the yes, the one girl. It, cool. Well, I, we don't know if she was actually a girl or what. Also, but... also just the one when we were there. <laughs> now, it is probably quite a bit more. <laughs> I assume. I could be wrong. We well, we did leave, so uh, there's no way that they would go back there. I mean, there's quite literally almost nothing there, so... Not true, but I assume they probably are taking over most of Aegren with the collapse of Eldalon and the fact they didn't have the next bigger city in Midama as their headquarters. That's true. So I assume they're probably making quite the... Uh, Power play land grab. Uh, well, I guess we could take an airship from Thermogar, but if we do that, then the dragon could just, you know, knock us out of the sky. I have a feeling that no matter what, there is not a good way over. I think probably airship is going to be the way. I mean, I don't know. There's a lot of logistics in play. Oh, like overall. We can figure that out. Um, if anything, probably from Thermogar is where they want to send the airship. Isn't that where the uh, where they evacuated people to from Aldalon? Was to Thermogar, right? Yeah. So, so I assume that's probably would have to go up there, anyways. Why? Well, actually, that's where the main airship. Well, from, yeah. I don't know, and you don't. I mean. The Empress could have, or whoever is going to be funding this for us, could have their own private one that they could send from wherever, but longer journey, if we can skip most of that just by teleporting somewhere else. That isn't just straight into Aegon. How f Me being a cartographer man... Mm -hmm. Um, How far would it be from like Alpha Dill per se to where we need to go versus like taking an airship from Thermagar. Oh, you don't know. Um, no, no, do you left. know? Do you know that? I know it's uncharted, but like you know. To get to, area. um, make a like are we, uh, potential methods of travel, right? From yeah. Alpha Dill, you would have to go on foot, and you would have to you know get to to the lake where you've been before. Uh, where, you, where you fight the Arbalath, and then you have to cross the lake somehow, and then you don't know how deep into Udrin you have to go, right? But from from Alphadil to the lake will be on foot will be about a week. Um, if you were then to like hazard a guess, like two. say you go by airship or or what other ever whatever other means of travel, um, you'll probably be able to like if you were to leave from Kalzir and get to the lake in like a week, right? Same time it would take you to go on foot from Alphadil to the lake. And probably a good bit safer, sort um, of. But if you have to go to Thermogar, for instance, um, that'll cut a couple days off of the travel time if you were going by airship. Um, so there's there's a lot of potentialities. Um, you're not sure until you like ask, right? Like what there, okay. what method of travel did the people kind of helping you out have in mind and blah blah blah. Um, what if we just hijacked an airship? Why do we have to hijack an airship? We could that probably just fun. ask for one. We could just ask for one. Oh, but that sounds not as fun. Right, but it's also mm -hmm. is way more clever than being like, uh, did you hear about those guys who hijacked an airship? Who How would they, they know? Well, also, would we wouldn't want to like We'd spit in the eye of the you know... Empress, no? And. And also, did you say how would they know there'd be a fucking airship missing? <laughs> they're not, they're 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 not exact, they're also and, and I don't know about the rest of you, but I can pilot most regular ships, but an airship is a little and harder. And also, airships, you can fucking see them constantly for a long time. They'd be like, it's a weird airship that's not supposed to be flying. Right, but then we day, might even shoot it down. It's making your life harder than it needs to be. And they just see an airship going from A to B, and people are like, "Oh, that must have been hijacked." 
I bet it was the heroes no, of fucking Bellin. No, but the, people will know <laughs> that someone has hijacked it. Well, not necessarily. Right? Well, they'll not know the general is, public. They'll know what's will know. missing. It will it, spread. You, you, you schedule all the launches. They know when something's supposed to leave, and it, if it leaves without. Well, people okay. So where, where? Oh no, 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 no. Okay. Where do you suggest we just conjure up an airship? Well, I think we just ask the heroes of exile to use theirs. Or we ask the empress. Yeah, we can ask the literal together. empress. And we just say, hey, how would you like us to, like, what do you think is the best way to travel there? And they might just say, oh, just teleport there. And then this whole conversation is mute anyway. Or they'll say, oh, use this airship. Oh, we've got a spare one in Thermogar or fucking wherever. And we go by that. It's not exactly like, you know, difficult. We have these means, we have these resources, we may as well use them. They fucking owe us that at mu as much. It's so boring. So There's when gonna we be plenty of unboring sorry, things when sorry, we We're there. having to kill a bunch of dragons is super boring. I'm sorry the travel part is what bores you. Where do we get a crew? They will also, why we should have one. The airship will probably have one. They don't just. It'd be getting like a private horse and carriage. You don't go, oh, I've got a private horse and carriage. Oh, should... yeah. Except a private horse and carriage. One, one of us can drive. Two, needs one person to fucking drive it if we can't. So. Yes, sorry, I didn't know fucking in... airship crews. I just. also have one. Again, they probably have one ready to go. Is Ryagel still sitting here? No, she no, left. Ryagel fucked up. She, she, she fucked off. Oh, she gone, yeah, so she's in here. bullshit, while thank God. Arguing, I'm just gonna get up and go walk around and see if I can find her again, and I'm just gonna ask while she's they look, continue to have this discussion. We'll, we'll have this, so you, like, stand up, like, look, you f made Thel fuck off, which, to be honest, is probably good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you look around, and you see, you see Ryagel. Yeah, she wasn't being very constructive, Ryagel so. is just sitting in the living room, like, attached to the, di yeah. the, the food, the, the dining room, and it's just kind yeah. of sitting there, like sideways over a uh, over a chair, with like her legs yeah. kicking off of the side, just yeah. giggling to herself as she hears the ruckus coming out yep. of. So I walk over to her and be like, "You can you can hear the nonsense going on in there, and it's gonna go on for hours if we leave them to it." So, Which I think is quite is entertaining, thought? to be fair. But weren't you also the one saying we're on a time constraint? <sighs> I suppose you're right. So thoughts on getting an airship? That was kind of the plan already. Um, That's what I thought. We have uh, a fleet, which we can... Well, I say we have a fleet. The Empress has a fleet that she's so graciously bestowed upon the guild uh, to use whenever we uh, need it. Um, we have a crew. Perfect. It's banned. Uh, ready to go whenever. We have a few hours. We need a few hours to pick up some supplies, then we should be ready. Can you give us a? I did a hear time mention of 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 of, of Thermogar. Um, yes. If if you guys need to go there first, we can have an airship meet you there. Um, I don't know where seen, in Thermogar you have to be. You've seen a Lazarin. Uh, he's barely holding it together. So I think if we do this to help his mental state, it will. I don't know him. The dragon part will way, go much be better. Fair. He's kind of been like this ever since oh, I met him. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, that does not bode well. <laughs> yes. Well, either way, it's well. what we've decided on. It's where we're going first, but we promise we'll get to the dragons immediately after. That's fine. Just um, when you guys are done conversing, um, we can have a meeting. We can talk about where you want to go, logistics of things, what to bring, what not to bring, um, how to prepare for whatever dragon you're facing. We'll have a, a jolly good meeting, which I really love having. I love meetings. I you could literally really enjoy just give having me meetings like a all time, day, every day. A time and dock number, and say we've like arranged it. Show up. Say well, no, we meeting. should have a talk regardless to kind of get our heads. Okay, I, I tried I to help. I know, but the Empress, she's a bit of a you know old fashioned. I think, I think that comes with the age. Oh, we're meeting with her as well. Well, no, but she's given me a list of things to run through to you. So. Oh. I'll be the meeting bitch. Okay, fun. Well, I'll go tell them. We will see you shortly, hopefully. Don't 
Yeah, well, not too shortly. I'm gonna go for a walk and stretch my legs. You guys, you guys we'll sound like you have a lot of things to discuss we'll... in there, so you know, take yeah, your time. It's fine. The less right. aggravated you all are when we go into this meeting, the better. So just get it all out. You know, there's a sparring room. Like if you if you want, you 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 know, blow off some steam. Uh, not really my vibe. I think that's mostly just muscles and Sparky probably be the ones who would partake. But uh, I'll let them know. Sparky. D D Davian? Davian. Right. Sparky because of the fire. I see, I see. I no, see. no. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't, don't encourage her. <laughs> so just Davian like pokes his head around the, like through the door. No, <laughs> no, no. Nope, no. Nope. <laughs> it's like that fucking, it's like, it's like the David Beckham fucking um, documentary <laughs> where, where Victoria is talking about how working class she was yeah. and David Beckham's just like, no, you no, what, tell car did you, what car did your parents drive yeah, yeah, in school? Drive. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's a fucking Rolls I'll Royce or whatever. Just arguing. Yeah. And just came in and like sit fucking back down, over. put like feet up, like, all right, airships arranged, leaving at the end of the day. Thermogar is fine. Just we just go find Rygel when you're all ready to go. It's arranged. That was so hard. There is there is one thing I think we'll have to do before we go. Yes. She needs some time anyway, and I said we have some shopping and shit to do, so... Why, what do you um, need to do? I don't, I but I thought you you did. I have today. Dagon's body still. That too. <laughs> we should probably bury it or something. Yeah, that's uh, well, I thought we were going to spread her ashes in the wind. Yes, that's a better idea. I like that idea better. You can take okay, the ashes sorry. on we the should, airship. We should cremate it then. Yeah. How do then, we do that? While we're flying, Ooh, there was, I was on the roof and horrible. I could see no trees for miles. So, well, well, luckily, we have one someone who can just conjure fire. I was gonna say, anyways, and two, I am sure the churches and temples around here will have means to do cremation. Really, was you, you, do that, you do that in temples, too? Yes, Is that religious? did I get have a, a like inside? Yeah, you have, like, Can't a, you like some of those you know, like framed things? You know how you have like what? a fireplace, I guess, and that's inside. Sometimes. Okay. Yes. Elastric. Imagine Elastric. a big, big one of those. <laughs> Try it so hard. Incredibly. <laughs> so you like you just cook your people? No, you don't. <laughs> I, I, I just, I like look at Kess. I'm like, Kess. I know, like, Kess. I know, like. Your guess. Oh, do I have this breakdown so already. Do you have like a culture of like honorable cannibalism if you're cooking them? No, Just because you burn them doesn't mean you eat God, them. I miss oh, them. I miss them. Them. Guys, I miss them. You can't yes. eat ash. You'll turn them into ash. Also, by the way. Okay. <laughs> you really, you've shot yourself in the foot here, starting with fucking oh, no. fireplace. Okay. We, this is not, this is not, this is not a nice low and slow. Uh, you know, fucking barbecue, right? You're incinerating a body, okay? It requires a lot of heat. Oh it's like, this is a, we were talking about a furnace, right? I Not a fucking I... oven. Right, but I had, to, yeah, I had to put it in a way that Kess would get it. Look how far that got you. I know, it's been a while since I've seen her. <laughs> and also, a lot has happened. A lot has happened in that week and a half. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, but then again, like a week and a half of not seeing Kess, I think after like 24 hours and not seeing her, you just forget how she is, and it's just like, you're like, oh, well, yeah, she's I normal, didn't forget normal about person. That, but, you know. Oh, Belle's back. Hey, <gasps> Belle. You're back. Hello. Welcome back. My entire internet died for a second. Nice. You're back. Nice. Oh, Big up. Mm -hmm. Anyways, um, Sparky, you were trying to say something? Oh, no, I'm just trying to fucking. Anyway, yes. I, I, I needed to just make Elijah and stop at some point because he's like, oh, we could have something can conjure fire and again, like turn us on to literal ashes. Quite that's a lot. Of, that's hard. That's, that's oh, hard. I see. Well, I'm sure you could do it. No, well, then again, yeah, but like not without probably said. expending quite a lot of. Yeah, well, we're not going to do anything else today. Oh, I might. No, oh, no, what? you're right, guys. You go. You all go off. Have a fucking jaunt. And I'll sit and fucking b slowly burn my friend's body for the next few hours. I mean, I could I also do it. You I had to do it. It sounded like there was assistance. I could also do a fuckload of fire as well, but you know. I could also probably. Or 
we could just go to one of the many temple districts here, or temples that are here, and, you know, ask this thing that apparently we are incapable of doing, asking for help. <laughs> I am aware of the irony right now. <laughs> hey, that, dude, that's, that's rich going for you. Are you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mr. I saw this off by myself. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> three traumatic episodes later. <laughs> okay. All right. I say we go. Oh, I, I tried asking this before, but does mm. anyone know if Dagam is at all religious? I don't believe so, as far as I'm aware. Do I know, <laughs> Laura? Well, you knew. Uh, yeah, you yeah. knew <laughs> that she fucks with Thea now, but that's yeah, but that really a fake. Thea's a shopkeeper. Oh, not Thea now. Fucking Elsa now. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Elsa. Yeah. Um, I fuck with Dean Elty, though. I was like, that would be the closest thing. She was never very religious. She she was more like a agnostic kind. Like, she's like, obviously, deities exist, and various pantheons exist, but she never had one that she really cared that much about its lore or putting one above the other. Acknowledges the existence of gods, but doesn't really subscribe to any, 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 you know, beliefs. Like, yeah, I know they're real, but I don't know. Swing that way. Uh, the only thing is, I, I feel like just like going to any temple seems a bit like sacrilegious or something. I don't know. Well, I was we can, just gonna say that. We can just build a pyre then, but we'd have to buy wood. Do we need planning permission for a funeral pyre? No, because we're no, just not in the city. We should pick like a nice. I mean, we're, all, we're literally in the place that is outside of the jurisdiction. Yeah, but it's also not our house. Really, it does seem like a bit presumptuous as house guests to be like, "Oh, we also can just freely oh, we'll, burn bodies we'll in just your establishment." Build a fucking huge bonfire yeah. <laughs> to burn a dead body in the back. Uh, again, don't we don't have to do it here. There is a big but desert. But to be fair, I mean, they are all also an adventurers guild. Surely, some of them have died in the in the line of action. Maybe they have also. resources for this. For all we know, also. But they also might just bury them. There is a really good thing we could do where we could ask. <laughs> Such a, such a we, we are so no, above no, asking. And Ryagel, back into the other room, see if she's still there. <laughs> no, you're right. uh, like, she has like... since moved on. Uh... Oh, oh well, then I'll just come back. Oh. She's out on her walk. <clears throat> but yes, we also, as Jaxi said, we there's a massive desert. Like we could just do it out there, somewhere yeah. a bit more of our own private place. It feels kind of fitting that this is happening in this city, though. Just in general sense. This is where or, I met Dagon. Or if we do it here, they do have. Wait, that. you met Dagon here? Yeah, she convinced me not to steal from the Empress. Mm. Good Carl on that one, I think. Yeah. So that's, that's <laughs> phenomenal. Fun fact. Also, don't they have like a bunch of burning bush out back? Build it out there. I mean, we're like. Oh, God. No! Oh, God. That's Trim's, that's that's Trim's life's idea. work, man. It's her legacy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but dude, imagine how high we'd get. Ever replenishing yeah, you... weed plant. <laughs> if we love a reporter. It's the combination of like the Caduceus style dead people tea and the burning bush with the funeral, combining ashes of it with the burning bush, holding yeah. a weird kind of yeah. high. Well, Smoking well, on that Daigon pack! <laughs> yeah, exactly, dude. No, but also what's like the hilarity of it is imagine just like seeing Daigon. <laughs> No, yeah, no, like just <laughs> a f later on the day, just this, the massive cloud that is made from burning all of it just goes over the city and it's like, what's <laughs> going on? <laughs> everyone seems chiller today. It's kind of mm. weird. Surprise, everyone gets possessed by her spirit because not even. Oh my god. Presence. Yeah. That'd be so funny. <laughs> the ultimate Daigon Big Bad is just like. <laughs> my plan all along. All along. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, I'm so sure. We, we ask at a temple, or we. I'd say, fuck I'm sure it, you could go. even just find like a blacksmith or something, because they require wood to keep their furnaces lit. To just be like, hey, where do you get some of that? Go get some lumber. Go outside the city, build a pyre, or just find an area in the city where we're allowed to make a pyre. <clears throat> well, I feel like that's going to require a lot of permits. Oh my god! We know the Empress. Just Why does this in. require so many Listen. bureaucratic? Is that the right word? Did I we're already yes, one. Right someone word. and someone already has said hey, we're already running. outside the city. Uh, Two. There is a uh, huge fucking desert, which, to be honest, I think a nice night in the desert, 
like it's dark, you saw all the stars, build a fucking bonfire, chuck Dargan in there, bish bash bosh. Done. Wow, you, that's so heartfelt, Davian. Mm. Uh, look, I'm not... Uh, the, listen, we can save the fucking <laughs> sentimentality for the fucking funeral, all right? I'm just trying to get to the fucking... Get there in the first place. So how about me and Jax go to the woods with a bag of holding. I'll blast some trees over. We'll chuck them in the bag. Bring them over... You know, to the you do realize the bag will do holds like 500 pounds, right? How much wood could you need for a pyre? Um, I'm sure we could just buy some. I don't, I don't think it'd be that expensive. And we're kind of rich, so and two just one, like two rent a wagon, do it yourself, cremation kits. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, wait, hang on. Just by the, can we, while we're about to go do the shopping for supplies, is that just like, can I pick up a DIY creation, you know, like one of those paint room just kits? Just some lumber and a wagon to transport it to wherever. <laughs> yeah, just need like, yo, real quick, one cremation set, please. Thank you. Bet. <laughs> now when you are five million gold. Fuck. <laughs> Every time. Uh, well, you I can. Just, I just spent a casual twenty eight thousand. Yeah, so it's amazing. I mean, I did. I, I did spend a casual twenty twenty one k. Yeah, not as rich as we once were. I was at five k. It's fine. I got. But I got 5K for the sake of uh, expediency, you uh, oh. you you head into the city. You find some supplies for where you supplies. are able to, you know, get some get 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 a, get a pyre going. Uh, to do with wherever and whatever you want. Uh, as far as the shopping goes, I know that uh, two of you have sent me DMs with an ex exact list of what they want. Um, oh. I was uh, just grabbing some potions. I'm fine. Do, you, I'm do you want me to tell you exactly what I bought? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Um, uh, I have three potions of vulnerability, five potions of superior healing, four potions of supreme healing. That's expensive, brother. That's a lot of money. God yeah, damn. it's 21,000, roughly. Jesus Christ. Um, what did you buy, Soko? Uh, I just bought six greater healing potions. Okay, fair enough. It's such a I, thought you said, I thought you said sixth grader for a second. Yeah, same. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. We, we take six graders, push them into like a potion vial. Yeah. And just like... Well, you still have those fucking children pies or whatever the fuck, so... Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ew, my god, we do! <laughs> um... Yeah, is there anyone else that wanted to buy some items and stuff? Uh, you haven't DM'd me, so um, you snooze, you lose. Lol. Um, Idiots. If Kes wants anything, I'm sure the party would like put funds in for it. Yeah, yeah. True. It's Bell. It's my face, Bell. Let us know within the next session. If you need like spell yeah. components no. or something, yeah. Spell components or potions or whatever. Uh, well, yeah. stop breaking your setup, Bell. What are you doing? Relax. <laughs> <laughs> the microphone now lives on the desk. I'm right. oh, mute. I'm oh, mute. I want to hear. It just is. It just broke. It wasn't. <laughs> oh no! Uh, you're gonna have to hold it like a reporter now. The yeah. table. Live on the field. Live on the field. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. This bit just broke. It just died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everything's breaking too. Oh, yeah, your camera, fuck. Bell's mic, what's next? My lighting. It's great, dude. Your lighting. Yeah. You're a fucking mess. <laughs> I mean, Duke yeah, and Cobra are next. Dutch is just the CRT. Uh, well, my microphone did break okay with me. during the move. I have to buy a new mic. I think I'm twinning with Cobra oh, yeah. now. <gasps> you are! But, um, yeah. So you, um... Oh, you all... Purchase your various goods and, and, and all the stuff you wanted, needed to prepare yourselves for what's to come. Um, you, you collect some, some, some wood and some other things to get a fire going. Um, and you kind of reconvene at the guild hall a few hours later. Um, yeah, what do you guys do? I'm still just uh, fixing my fucking items. Yeah, you could. 
I will have been staying like inside and avoiding the heat of the desert as much as possible until we have to like go anywhere because I much prefer cold and uh, less dry environments. So I'm semi miserable in this climate and trying Thank my best not to, Wait. not to show it. We should Wait, stay here forever. Wait, you're only miserable in this climate? What the fuck was your problem in the forest then? <laughs> um, I will have wanted uh, to cast Find Familiar. Okay. Oh, you're out and doing stuff. Getting fucking Thorn back? Yeah, baby. Would you imagine she gets a different one? Yeah. Like, no, fuck that guy. No, I hate Thorn. <laughs> I hate Thorn. Thorn. Bitch. I, I debated also casting it, but I haven't decided yet on what I want my Familiar to be, so I'm going to hold off until Fair I figure enough. it out. Okay. An octopus. Um, well, no, I, I, I can't do one of those. But there's a there's an option because my subclass like that's a strength <laughs> and I think that's what I wanted. But I need to come up with like their vibe. <laughs> um, Duke, that manual that you bought is one of those things where it's like you have to read X amount of hours for the over the next period of time. So yeah, first I need buff, to basically right? read forty eight hours within the next six days. Which is just eight hours. A minimum, it's just eight hours, eight hours a day. Hours a day. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna be traveling. Yeah. Fucking I mean, that is perfect yeah, to if do. I can, if I can squeeze time. in more in a day, then I'm gonna. Like, if you are going by airship, then you got plenty of time for that shit. That's mm -hmm. for sure. Um. Yeah. So. You, oh, well. you 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 have your supplies. You 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 have the 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 items needed to, at least get rid of you know the the, the Dagon's physical. Um, Get rid of well, you monster. Listen, man. Yeah. It's the more time you wait, the more it's gonna stank up Kess's place. All right. Oh, like, uh, also, no, it's still got the. This nerve. place already stinks, bro. What do you mean? Yeah. Okay. How dare you? Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, true. Kess is in it. Is that something you were you're wanting to do now, or is there something else on your list of things you want to do first? I, I mean, I will defer to Kess, but like of a place. Is there anyone particularly in the desert you think would be best for this? Not like, especially. Or is, it, or is it just more the um, spreading of her ashes? Yeah. That's the... I think that's the important bit. That's the important bit. I can still do a little ritual right here, you know, like a... Oh, actually... I'll, I'll do it next time it's available. But I think I figured out next time what I want my familiar to be. Oh, I'll wait. Hold off. Wait, so, wait, so, wait. Okay. so, I mean, we'll just find find something that looks nice, I think. Yeah. Can we uh, find something that looks nice? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you remember uh, on your way to towards where that airship, uh, that space, that spell jammer ship uh, mm -hmm. had crashed um you walk through some some pretty looking dunes that kind of where there's no no not a lot of pollution in the air so you look up and you can just see a fucking galaxy of stars and different colors that looks quite pretty at night um and that gives you you're far enough away from society to know for a fact that you'll be on your own in private but you know you don't have to travel for fucking miles uh, in the supplies you picked up can i have picked up like a a powder or dust that i know would like change the color of the flame yeah sure i think uh Stop. yeah that's fine you can just you can just add that to your inventory it's all good <clears throat> i mean i'm gonna be fucking you straight away so. yeah true <laughs> i'll take up how much gold do you want me to remove? Ah, no, it's fine. You spent like twenty like something k. Like we can we can tack that on. It's like, hey man, you spent a lot of money here. Have this on the house. Yeah, <laughs> yeah have have this weird metal slash rock. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Have the powder. Thanks. Thanks for feeding me and my family for the next five years. For the <laughs> dude, it's generations. You know how much money twenty thousand gold is for the regular fucking job. I'll say D &D? for like rich people, uh, one gold a day is like yeah. They're like yeah, it's like a of supply. Of uh, he's gonna get fucking income taxed out of his ass, though. You know what I'm saying? Dude, <laughs> dude that, no, not even the income tax. Like, we're probably pretty 10k in income dude, tax. 
the fucking inheritance tax that's fucking coming in like 50 years. No, 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 no. no. See, he, he grouped it up in like art, so it's like he doesn't have to pay the inheritance. <laughs> nah, they'll they get him somehow. They always get you. <laughs> <laughs> they'll find a way. No. Uh, <laughs> um, you guys head out yeah. and, and, and find this little valley of just sand dunes all, everywhere the eye can see. Above you, you see a very colorful sea of stars and get different colored streaks of pink and purple and green kind of kind of weaving between these different stars and moons you can see um it is quite there's an unmistakable uh, sepia filter over the episode yes yeah Caroline. there is um and it is it is that it includes like a sitar in the background <laughs> it is a very pretty I, 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 sight um and you get to a little place where you can still see the lights of uh, um, Kalzir in the distance, but you are far enough away to, to be able to be undisturbed for for all of this. So what would you like to do? Uh, I mean, how how much fucking wood? Um, I, yes, yeah, yeah, I, I would have gone out and probably gotten... Oh, as much as y'all would have wanted food. to. Dude. This is. I um, got a, I'm I got thinking. A, a backseat prop. Yeah, it's I'm thinking like four foot tall pier, or pyre. Yeah. Pyre, yeah, it's gonna say like, almost like a a pilot bonfire. So pilot. like maybe like a four by six kind of thing. Yeah. Okay, but hold on. If we make a really big pyre, how do we get Diagon's ashes? Well, we put the body. Well, it's just kind of in there, and then we just like blow it in the wind, you know. And could we also just no. like press to digitate okay. them into a bottle or a container of some kind? Did, well, you put them in like a big when you, you put the body in like a big you wrap the body, but then like in stuff that's like a bit more fire resistant, and that's how you. Oh. Well then. Like that's how those ashes stay separate, or you just uh, take all the ashes that are there. I see what you mean. From the wood as well, which will be a, a fuckload. Yeah. So you tend to wrap the fucking body. In <laughs> flame resistant treated fabric of some kind like treated fabric that like so the inside still gets hot but that doesn't catch fire yeah interesting i've never cremated someone but koiba clearly has so uh, was... no i haven't i just like fire man i <laughs> just no <laughs> viking fire man yeah. it's, it's one of those weird deep dives you go on on wikipedia yeah, okay? no, I've, uh, we've, we've all been there, yeah no so. i know exactly what you mean it's just um, like but yes, yeah, you, just uh, your name, bro. you you build your you build your pyre and and basically build the setup, um, in which you think will will be good. And as you're uh, kind of you've done the prep, like what does everyone do during this, and how do they kind of individually set themselves up for this? Like, is there anything anyone does? Is there anything anyone wants to say or do before you start? Um, when Kes is in the vessel to get Daigon out, yes. Mm -hmm. Um, she'll just kind of sit on the bed next to her, um, and take the, the little plushie out of, from under her arms, um, Aww. and hold on to it, um, and just say that I'm really sorry that I can't give you more than this right now. Um, you were the first friend I ever had. And there was so much I wanted to do with you before you were going to be gone. I wanted to show you the Feywild and my home and show you all the things from my stories and I wanted you to see how much better you made my life just as a consequence of being in it and I will carry you with me for as many centuries as I'm allowed and then uh, I'll put the plushie down on the bed, and uh, hold on to Daigon, and then uh, go out into the, the desert. And as you put the plushie down and kind of hold Daigon's hand, 
for for like a split second, it almost feels like another hand gets put on top of yours. But that feeling is there for like a split second, and then it's gone. Put that plushie down. So you re-emerge from your vessel with uh, yeah. Dagon's body in tow. <clears throat> you all now see Dagon's body for the first time in a long in 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 a, in a little while. Um, thank God for gentle repose. Thank God for gentle uh, repose. Uh, <laughs> sees the body. Cheers. Instantly just turned again. It's turned red. It's turned to be Monday. I fucking. <laughs> I'm now like I assume a lot of probably doing a lot of the like prep. Uh, yeah. For work. So when the body comes out, we'll. Like, put the material on Dagon and start, like... It feels weird to say, like, strapping it down to the pyre. <laughs> but, like, so you have to fucking do it. You just have to, like, yeah. fucking tie it up. <laughs> kind of feels horrific, but it's kind of how you have to do it. <laughs> um, uh, I, as I'm going, I'm sprinkling these different minerals at different parts of the pyre as well. Um, as well as some incense. Um, that come around ready for when it is to be lit. And I'll say more when it's lit and done <laughs> that, at that point. Okay. What's everyone else doing while uh, Lazarus is doing his, you know, doing doing the, the setup of ev getting everything ready? Not to be disrespectful, but I'm getting stuck into this fucking book. <laughs> oh my god. Fair enough. Literally, the guy's like, can I bring my Game Boy to the uh, funeral? <laughs> God's iPad, bro. Well, mom. iPad, baby. <laughs> Dude, they're just fucking talking. When is it starting? Oh, can I have a Game Boy? <laughs> just, um, uh, bro, I'm the last level of Angry Birds. What's, uh, what's Jackson? Fel, Fel will just be holding back, like, like keeping maybe like <clears> five, <throat> ten feet back from the group. Because it's like, I don't want to be an intruder here. Because obviously this doesn't mean what it does to them, to her. So she's just kind of like, I'm back here for like moral support, I guess, if y'all need it. But I'm just, you you do your thing. <laughs> What's Jax doing? Um, I think Jax is just kind of sitting there, just watching a Lazarin for the moment. Um, I might like ask Jax occasionally, like to help with certain like bits of tying and stuff. I got you. Yeah, just like... <laughs> Can you hold on to this bit real quick? <laughs> put your finger right there. Yeah, put your finger... <laughs> no, it's more... more just like, can you hold this here whilst I go all the way around? <laughs> Thanks. <clears throat> oh. The time has come. As everything is set up and ready to go. Um... Uh, you, you, I will you're ready a... to start the, the ceremony. Uh, I will grab, like, a torch from my bag um, and go to Kess. Would you like to do the honors, Kess? Yeah, thanks. And I'll um, light the torch and I'll show her um, where to, like, basically one in each corner we a point to light. Um, and just... I will start to do a little prayer to Joaquin, um, a, a funeral rite of like the highest honor that I know. Um, <clears throat> I'll mutter uh, a prayer to Lyra in Elvish, um, and another one to Elsinor, um, just in common. And then just say goodbye, my friend, and then light the pyre. As the pyre lights, um, each corner that gets lit up, uh, the it will sort of go, the flame will start normal, and as it burns more, it turns into a green, and then into a very deep, like, pink, and then it will turn sort of normal but like weirdly orange and then it'll turn to a blue for the last bit it'll be all blue um whilst it's there that's sort of as close as i could get to how she looked in her ghostly form okay that sort of 
bluish color would just be what the rest of the fire will look like with tinges of red but still with tinges of all the other colors as well almost like the lands meeting the elements meeting um but yeah we mainly a blue goo <coughs> cool as you do this and you you all kind of sit there watching this all unfold before you you suddenly see apparates kind of next to you this semi distorted looking ghostly figure as how dare you there's this 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 ghostly shade of a tabaxi kind of sitting looking at you looking at the pyre um, Jax, this is a very similar sight to you, as you've seen this before. Um, and Daigon's spirit looks very similar to the way she looked when you last uh, saw her. And she doesn't necessarily see you. Oh, bye, Bell. Oh. <laughs> bye, Bell. Um, Terrible timing. Yeah. Bye, Belle. Hey, Belle. <laughs> Hello. Daigon sits. Daigon sits there, and it's almost like she 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 sees you, and she sees this this scene before her, but it seems that she's not capable of kind of breaching back into this realm enough to establish any form of communication she just kind of sits there and, and looks at you and looks at the funeral pyre and you can see some tears kind of welling up in her eyes and eventually as the ceremony goes on you can see this 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 figure of, of Daigon kind of approach all of you and she just nods and lets and tries to bring forth a little smile and just nods and then as the fire begins to catch the body properly um, you see Daigon's spirit kind of begins to glow brighter and eventually just kind of slowly fades um I able to read on Daigon's <laughs> face that the tears are a deep sadness of or regret, or more of like a not happiness is the wrong word, but more I, of a, an acceptance. So if Dutch doesn't have one in mind, I have an answer. By all means. Uh, the initial out outset <clears throat> when she first is able to appear <clears throat> is probably more of a pained expression. Like it's hard to tell if it's like. Oh, crying is emotional, or crying because in physical pain. But by the good. but by the end, it doesn't have the same like, especially once she gives that little smile and stuff. It's more the like it almost seems to transition to happy tears towards the end. No, that's cool. Just got to make sure how much guilt to Lazarus. <laughs> does Dragon <laughs> still like? Can we read any like pain on oh, that? Oh yeah, no, space? absolutely. Like, like, like I said, we know she's like tortured, right? Yeah. Like, like I said, she like like I said, I don't know if you caught that, but when I when she appeared, I said to you, Jax, because you've seen her before, she still looks very yeah. similar to that last interaction you had with her, where she looks oh, fuck. rough. Um, like uh, it's the spirit looks very worn, like not. Fuck. She just looks tired and. There's definitely some some like pained expressions and and um, that Imagine kind of the, like, like flickering, someone... like not fully being able to kind of project herself. There's it's definitely yeah. signs of, of of being weakened. Like if you've ever seen someone who's been like having a long drawn out battle with an illness, and you know how it's like they don't look like there's like an active physical, say like stabbing, but just like that look of like it's taking them effort to be present and just to like kind of like be there. And just that, like, kind of level of, like, exhaustion, I guess, to to be social, it's probably, like, something similar to that. Yeah. 
Um, as oh. I kind of see that, Jax will just... Um, Dagon, I'm sorry we never got to find the place where all your tabaxi family would be, but hopefully your ashes can. And wait, where is it? Fuck. I ride them winds until we find it. <laughs> As you all <clears throat> kind of sit there, eventually you all begin to smell flowers. As suddenly, kind of above the fire, these crimson red flower petals begin to kind of appear out of nowhere. That's kind of terrifying. Kind of stepping from behind <laughs> the pyre, this tall, cloaked, fey being appears and doesn't really acknowledge any of you just yet. Just turns to the funeral pyre and puts what seems to be some kind of bouquet of flowers on to kind of let the, let it burn with the rest and she then turns to the rest of you and then lowers her hood uh, and just kind of goes without really saying anything goes to sit down next to Kes I'm terribly sorry for your loss she was a uh, a special one yeah um who are you? I don't see how that matters. <laughs> Not here for you, after all. I'm you, kidding. Yeah. I'm kidding. <laughs> Name's Alcinil. Nice to make your acquaintance. And you're looking at her, and this is, like, she's not an elf. She's very much more than that. This is, like, a like a 12-foot-tall, kind of skinny, but at the same time, like, looking pretty muscular, with these long arms and kind of, not necessarily claws, but definitely very long fingers and, and, and big hands. Like, this is oh. basically... Like a muscle mummy? No, this is like this is an arch fae. This is an arch fae. This is a fae a fey being from which basically the elves that you all know kind of stem from. Like this is what elves were before. Like this these are the most powerful creatures in the Fey Wild. Uh that, that kind of birthed the elven race. Um so they look a lot more deep bowling ball holes. What the fuck? What did you say? What the fuck? Um, but but yeah, she 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 looks a lot more, just a lot taller, a lot more kind of like drawn out features, like her hands and and her her facial features, um, and and, and just very tall, very big, and she just kind of sits good, down. But there's 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 even though she looks somewhat intimidating, there is a certain level of kind of grace and 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 gentleness to her i um i've had the pleasure of meeting some of you but i suppose i figured it be right given that one of my people passed away show my face here as we do but uh, by all means, just I'm pretend sure, I'm not uh, here. I'm I'm sure Dagon's glad you could make it as well. I would hope so. Uh, and Davian will stand up and walk over to the pyre. And to add to the flowers that uh, Elsa will throw on, he will throw a bouquet of moon blossom onto Ooh. the fire as well. Elsnil will pretty much fully direct all of her attention to 
Kess at this point, unless someone else like speaks up to her. Uh, she's very uh, much locked in with with Kess, Kess kinda, at, making sure that she's point, okay. Like at some point, we'll just like lean into her when they're like sat down next to each other. Yeah, and she'll kind of like Aww. allow you to, and kind of like grabs your head and kind of kind of this this like motherly embrace kind of in a way i think the whole time my husband is like barring holes to like <laughs> i was just like staring at her. um are you staring no... at elsinil yeah dude at some point she'll just kind of like turn her head and i can feel your eyes <coughs> Burning in the back of my head. Can I help you? Not now. It's not the time. Ooh. Making a real fucking awkward mystery. How intriguing. <sighs> not really. Just. Oh. Mm. Disappointing. Uh, seeing some you've heard. A bit about. Is this about yes. the itching powder? Oh. Oh. I do take my responsibility in that. That was definitely something I See, now... didn't instruct <laughs> them idea. to do, See... but I also kind of, you know, provided them no, with See, you the, would you, know. you would think that, right? That's just added on because mm. I I completely forgot about that. Oh. Uh, <laughs> well. Just knowing of what we know of just knowing what we know of your organization, it's... <sighs> to see the one in charge is always a bit unnerving. Well... Trying to get... Can I get a... Is... Can I... Am I able to get a read on just Al Snow as a being? Make, make um, an insight check. Yeah, okay. <laughs> like... Uh, I'll have you... You are trying to insight check a god, so the DC is like... <laughs> insane. It's like three. <laughs> well, that's a 32. <laughs> okay. Uh, Elsinil... I have a plus 16 to insight, motherfucker. You know, oh, really? hearing the stories and, and the fact that she or, yeah. is the leader, you know, you you know a bit of the background of, like, this archfey that f found, yeah. somehow f climbed her way up to godhood by uh, using some powerful artifacts that Adventurers got given give, yeah. give, given to her to kind of overthrow uh, the other god of the the trickery and and, and trickster domain, um, and now sits at the top of that domain. Um, and knowing that she is the leader of an organization of thieves that, by their saying, you know, they steal for good reason and they mm -hmm. steal artifacts to make sure that they don't end up in the wrong hands. Um, she is very hard to read. She looks like she always weird. she always looks like she has an ulterior motive. Okay. Like every That's... step she makes and every word she says, she says with I'll reason because she is working at an angle. That's kind of the vibe you get from her. Just yeah. everything she says, everything she does, that is kind of the, 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 the feeling you get. What's what's amazing about this is this is not how to last one. I don't fucking trust this Red Lewis King, dude. Like this, <laughs> it's, it is not a good idea to be like. We're just dealing with all the it's powerful artifacts. It's fine. It goes wrong, dude. He's like, no, 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 no. This is this is fine. But um... uh, yeah, I just will be like. I think you could probably like Alton could definitely read on Lazarus' face that he is like. Reading into her, her mannerisms, I guess, mm -hmm. like really, like really trying to... as she, yeah, she's as, like, as she notices that, it's like she'll just direct herself to Kess and so your your friend, he's trying really hard to analyze me. What have you told him about me? Just so I know that way, I know possible angles they're gonna fuck with him. Basics, you know, we steal things for good reasons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. True. You're a god. True. Franks. You gave us itching powder to, to put in his. I did need some more bedroll. of that, by the way. I've got, I've got plenty. 
indicted brother. Mm. She'll hand you a little little case. A little case. Oh, it's, it's, it's like it, like it's a little case, but it's still somehow like one of those big silver briefcases. No, it's like uh, a little like, like like a little cigar box <laughs> size. No, no, like you know, it's, it's still just like it's a little case, but somehow it just looks yeah because like of her that, fucking that, hands that with like yeah. a great width of three feet. It's like yeah. it's a little case. <laughs> It's a fucking suitcase was, uh, for Kess. Yeah, but... <laughs> I, was, I, was still, I, was, I was still doing the pass off like two suitcases next to each other. Yeah. Two suitcases and the same. I'd be like, you saw nothing. But, um... I I know you're busy. Um, don't, don't get me wrong. I have heard of your... I've been watching your, uh, your latest escapades. I've, I've been able to kind of spy on your group through... Brooks is now affiliation with my people, and obviously Kess, I know that you've been doing your own thing, um, but um, I don't really, uh, I'm not really the complimenting type, alright, but, you know, I feel like what you do as a group, what I do with my group, very similar end goal, which is make the world a safer place you know i do it or well we kind of like gestures to kes do it by keeping making sure that the bad people don't have access to powerful things of which they typically don't understand the scale of said power you do it by being badass and slaying dragons which end result same thing similar same thing. Yeah. That being said, I feel like you could use help. Which is fifty thousand platinum? No. But as you may be aware, my organization has gotten their hands on very powerful items throughout the years. Oh, God. That I've kept locked away. But there are a few that I feel like you could use for some good. So, I'll allow you... Volkers. I'll allow you to use them on the condition and we will have to sign a contract the condition that you return them to me once this is all said and done. So. I'll need a little moment. Well, maybe a few hours to... Eh, uh, more like a day. To gather all of these items and get them ready for you. But, uh, you know. I know where to find you, so... Whenever I have them ready, I'll bring them over. Um, Elazrin, right? I'm saying right as if I'm questioning what your name is. I'm very well aware, but I feel like doing it this way makes you a little more comfortable knowing that I have definitely not spied on you at all. I, I would, I'd be honest, knowing what I have guessed about you, I would Which be is? shocked if you hadn't. Oh, that'd be telling. Hmm. But... You, if you're, if you must know, being one of the trickery domain would, um... One of the... Uh, I feel like I'd spit an understatement. It's one of the... One of... The... I am sorry that I do not know every god that exists in the full expanse of... Well, I'm the only one that matters what? in that domain, so... Okay, well, that's whatever. <laughs> From what I know of the tricky domain in general, mm. it um, err to the side of caution. Um, but it seems like there's a lot of very good ideals, but maybe in principle the idea isn't as tight knit as you'd hope. Is it the stealing? No, it's more the one being amassing a lot of our powerful items 
even if they are locked away. I am but a slave of my ideals, and luckily for the world, my ideals are nothing but good. For now. I do Till I get bored. It. You're right, but... Exactly. I'm joking. But, but uh, that is probably for a joking. millennia away rather than now. It's so a joke. Good. Well, I... I can be a bit... No, listen, I understand the... Anyway... Caution. You... <laughs> but have I done any of you wrong so far? Right, if, if that was the case for everyone, we'd probably all be dead very quickly. If I go, oh, they've not stabbed me in the back yet. One of those people. You know, if you know a lot about me, you do know yeah. my entire history, right? Sort yeah, of part I of the do. course. Yes. It's a, it's a long one. It's not, it, we'll put it this way, it's not personal. How about that? Mm. It could be anyone in your stead. I'd anyway. Anyway, what do you want? <laughs> You're the... Paper man, the I like to make a paper trail and file it in threefold, three three times to make sure everything goes well. How about <laughs> it you? Happen it happens one. Make time. up a little <laughs> mock-up contract for us both to sign. Okay. That states that I'll be handing you a handful of artifacts for you to use, okay. and that they are to be returned after your bout with the final. Dragon being Tiamat, most likely, right? Do you want me to name Tiamat? Or do we yes, say yes. And could you list, like, maybe five of her names to make sure that we encapsulate like, capsule it all? I've had people trying I mean, to weasel their way out of contracts before uh, because of names, and I just want to make sure... I'll... I am many a thing, but... To, Not a weasel? A sacred, as mm. sacred as a written contract mm. let's not let's you know not what's a really funny coincidence cyber in the the other ttrpg thing i had to do today my character's whole backstory of her powers hinges on a contracts where they had trickery sneaky use of names and that resulted in free powers so there you go right write proper names in your contracts people anyway uh, uh, also, and yeah, we before. shall also be yeah. signing this contract in blood naturally um, for if any part of this contract gets broken, whether it's by me or by you, uh, I don't know. Let's say... What do you think? Guess one or two? Two. Two limbs. That's it. We'll be lost. Sorry. So, is, just to clarify, because we're getting it, is that... If we break it, we just have to give up two limbs Each. total, or we have to give all up of two the people's limbs? names we don't on the contracts. Like... Everyone that signs but the it... contract, which will be all of you and myself. See, this is what I'm also I feel like you losing two limbs isn't as big a deal as us. Seems not outweighted, but I'm not going to. Um, how about if you break your end of the contract, your end of the deal? Mm -hmm. We get to keep the artifacts. Maybe we inherit your power. Well, the thing is, get... if the, 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 the thing is right, <laughs> if. I don't really think I can I can break the contract because my side of the deal is handing you the artifacts. Your side is giving them back. So there's really nothing for me to break unless I decide not to give the artifacts. And then if I don't give you the artifacts, there won't be a contract to sign. That's not really how it works in total because we can sign the contract before you give over. But we're not doing that. Oh, right, but I'll have... Hold on, Elijah. If our side of the contract is to give the items back, then also, what if doesn't fucking we, matter? What was if we all die? Right. <laughs> well, I mean, we can't lose limbs if we're dead. Death so. is a very natural we, way out of a blood pact, so you'll be all right. I mean, you I can't say, how can we die when you're the dead. You the contract if we're fucking dead. <laughs> it doesn't matter, you know. It would, all possibilities need to be analyzed just in case. Mm. Gotta have those falls. Do you want this to be a tight? Tighten this contract or we're doing some loosey goosey shit, you know? I would love for you to really try your best. How could you want to be totally this? honest with you? I'm fairly sure it's pretty black and white. There's all. See, Davian's thinking like that, that means you get fucked over by loopholes constantly. <laughs> Okay, so if you make the contract as simple as possible, there are no loopholes. 
You ruined the fun out of contract making, Davian. Oh my god, it's not fun! <laughs> anyway. Uh, step step one. Step one. Elsinil entrusts us with artifacts. Step two. We return artifacts. If artifacts are not returned, we die. Well, you won't die. No, we lose limbs. Lose There's two limbs limb. each. And I'll let you pick oh. legs, arms, one or both. Oh, you're never getting them back in that case. Three limbs. I'm joking. I'm joking. Mm. Could make it four limbs. Make it five so that we can't ever do it. Which, which would be... Grow one and drop which it would off. be your... Fi oh. Oh. I could do that, you know. I regret opening... How about we stick to the original two? Let's not be hasty now. Fine. Got that in writing. I'll arrange the artifacts, and I'll reconvene once I'm ready, which will be, I don't know, a day or two at max. You have got it. Before I go, any of you happen to be willing to... Speaking of limbs... Oh, here we go. Yeah, here we go. I hate this. I have some prosthetics, if anyone is interested. Oh no! Fucking Actanis 2.0 about to happen. What? Bell, Bell having the dog. Like, oh, uh, uh. Um, uh, um Bell's character limbs. likes their limbs, so. Given uh, that, no, if they're prosthetics, yeah, I would suppose it would be kind of hard to give them back at the end, so maybe that's not a good idea. Wait, well, do we get prosthetics if we lose our oh. limbs? No, but see, here's the thing. Hang on. If. You can just regrow our limbs. If one of them is a prosthetic to give to us, you can just regrow it after we're done with it. Oh, true, true, true. <gasps> okay. Anyone allergic to almonds? <laughs> anyone allergic to losing their limbs? <laughs> well, <laughs> that weird allergy? Just anyone have just an my almond? life, actually. Anyone have an almond allergy here that I should know of? It, why? The normal ones? Uh, no. What about dogs? Uh, Oh, wait, hold on. Is there non-normal almonds? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like wild almonds or something. Oh, yeah, isn't there like... It's like 10 different types of almonds. almonds where you get that, like, poison from? Mm. You get that from almonds? Huh? Cyanide smells like bitter almonds. Isn't, like, cyanide or some shit made from almonds? almonds? Am I fucking crazy? No. Mm, it's specifically... It's not made from almonds, but... They yeah. have cyanide. There's something from fucking almond... The almond plant, at least. Okay? Don't, like, don't, like, <laughs> don't, like, apple pits and apple seeds also have, like, a very minimum level minimum of, like, bit. cyanide yeah. in it? Yeah. Crazy, bro. Yeah. yeah, like, lots of fucking... Fruits. Fruits. Do. Um, sure cherries do as well. Last question, and then I'll be on my merry way. How... prone to addiction are you? Most but, of these people vary. So I should avoid giving you artifacts that might have a, an addicting side effect, like a sword that I really wants you to kill might end up badly because... Uh, no, 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 no. I, does it I, talk? Would, I would say there is no... Other than Kes, definitely. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't give it Wait, to him either. On. Points at Brooks. Like, yeah. I don't mm. think Brooks. we should have one. Mm, yeah, yeah. Definitely not. I think the rest of us are fine. And then Brooks says, like, "What are you on about?" In an Irish accent. In <laughs> if you're an ass, what are you on about? <laughs> if you're an ass, <laughs> if you're an ass of the accent. <laughs> well, okay, Matt, one more thing just kind of pops in my head. Um, would any of you mind walking around with a third eye at any point? <gasps> Where's the third eye? Is it is it on our faces? Belly button. <laughs> it'll it'll it'll. You, know, you could probably hide it behind your hairline. It's on your kneecap. You have to wear shorts Left. the rest of your life. Left nipple. I mean, that can be arranged, but you have to walk around shirtless for it to function, which... <laughs> oh, that's so weird. That's your thing. I don't, I don't, I don't want to imagine to do that. What about a second um... nose? No, what? No. How about a third ear? I ran out of those. Oh. Yeah. Ninth chin. It was oh. really nice. It was this ear <laughs> that allowed you to basically listen to anyone. Oh, like any ear. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Smart ass. Could you, like, if you would let thoughts? me finish, um, I could use that ear and whisper 
the name of the person I wanted to eavesdrop on, and wherever they are, on whatever plane of existence they are, I'll be hearing what they're saying. <gasps> that sounds so cool! You okay, might not be allergic to almonds, but if there's one thing Elijah's allergic to, it's women finishing. On <laughs> <laughs> that note... Crying, crying! On have... <laughs> that note, I, um... Fuck! It was... <laughs> I would say it was a pleasure meeting you all, but I'll say it was interesting. Again, Elazarin's least favorite thing. <laughs> um, I wish Why we could have met this? under different circumstances. Why am I getting but hate? Good luck with your journey ahead, and I'll be back in a couple of days. Let me gather everything. In the meantime, Mr. Paper Trail, get it all in writing. She just kind of like chuckles and uh, kind of does this little like flourish and kind of begins spinning around and she just completely just disappears and there's just this little cloud of crimson flowers that kind of just twirl to the ground. Did I just get given homework by a god? Yeah. Haven't you spent most of your adult life doing homework set by a god? Yeah. Technically, no. Oh, it was all voluntary. Yeah, that one. Yeah, technically it's just sort of my duty, rather than... Oh. That sounds like the same thing like as homework. No, homework. it's... No, no. But you, you get, I mean, you get homework and you know, it's a duty no. to finish homework. Not all the time. You can usually just not do it. It's great. It's the great yeah, thing about homework. Lazarus doesn't finish. I... Ever. Mm. Apparently. So... Uh, both me and women that I sleep with don't finish. Phenomenal. You sleep with women? <laughs> ah, cool. Great. Yeah, the Great. Point is you're allergic to uh, it, so therefore. Right. It. Yes. Very mm. funny. I'm so glad this is now the time we're having this. We are at a funeral, guys. Come on, keep it together. <laughs> well, to be fair, I think Dagon would want us to do this, so. That's the worst bit about this, is I know by I fact Dagen this is exactly what Dagon would want. <laughs> <laughs> Dagon would probably spearhead this, to be fair. Yep. It's something that Lazarin also doesn't do to women. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, you ancient fuckhead. Okay, here we go again. Okay, we know he has at least once because he had he had a, a he had a family. He had children. He had what? You were yes. there for that. We, we've been there for that. Yes, you were there for oh, that. Okay. <laughs> you don't remember. I think Jack somehow. I think you guys go on a whole. I was told you went on a whole side on side then. quest to avenge his fallen family. Wasn't that a thing? Uh, Kess, I think you are the dementia is spreading. Jack, didn't realize. It's contagious. It's contagious. Didn't know. Mm. Wait, who are you? Where am I? <laughs> oh dear. Sometimes oh, yeah. we just don't pay attention to you guys. I have a lot going on. Um, okay. <laughs> well, if I had a piece of gold every time I was offered a deal by a deity that involved trading for limbs, I'd have two gold, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it's happened twice. I feel like you hang out with the wrong deities. What? Uh, You're not ones. incorrect, actually. That's a fair assessment. Did you say those are the fun ones, Cass? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Lazarin, we know Kess is fucked in the head, okay? It's not anything new. I don't I don't know why it shocked me every time. Money and just... trade. And contract. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Boring? It's not that boring, Kess. Mm -hmm. Anyways, before money... we get too distracted and forget, and before it gets too breezy, shall we... Someone has a method of collecting the ash. Well, it's all, right. that, it's all in that bag, you see. Are we are we moving it from that large, awkward well, to transport bundle of fabric into like a more portable container? Cool it's got to cool down a bit. Fair. Okay. It's very hot. I, mean, well, I was going to say, how, would, how do we want to spread it? On the airship, I thought, was what was discussed. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, yeah they from the airship, spread but it. it is crisp. That's, that's better than the idea I was just having in my head. It was uh, mentioned at breakfast, but I don't know if we settled on it. Uh, yeah, that was my I thing. I just didn't know if we were doing it. have assumed in the collection of random pyre items, we would mm -hmm. have got, like, an urn. 
Yeah. Or like at least double. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a small one. So we put it into this. <laughs> yeah. So you collect the ashes and you kind of fill the urn. You all kind of wait for the fire to completely fizzle out. Shall we say you all head back to the city? As it has now, you know, you've spent the whole day you know, shopping, setting this up, and then the ceremony and all that. So we'll say it's it's getting, it's 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 the late evening as you get back. Um, um, should we say that you guys kind of Go for a long rest, and when you We're awaken, not gonna see them about the airship on the same evening. Run away till the next morning. Nah, I mean we don't need to worry about it. Okay, we'll worry about it till tomorrow. And then okay. when you wake up, we'll you know you guys can get ready for that meeting and discussing what exactly it is that you're doing. Now that gotcha. all the stuff that you had to do while you were here has now been done, and uh, we can start planning the road ahead. Mm, but before we get to that, trip cheeky little break. Quick, 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 yes, fucking please. Yes, sir. bio break. Use the and all yes, that sir. stuff. Go grab a drink and all that good shit. Good shit. And Blow we'll my back nose in, uh, from all the crying. Order that. <laughs> we'll be back in a few minutes. Thanks for watching, hanging out so far, guys. Thanks for the resubs as well, guys. We're, we're finally we're back. Pog. Um, but um, yeah, we'll be right back. I'm no longer having a mental breakdown. Let's go. My lighting will be fixed next week, I promise. I swear. I swore. <laughs> uh, <laughs> swore. But uh, we'll be back in about five, ten-ish minutes. Don't go anywhere. Well, do, do go anywhere. Maybe go, go stretch. Take a break. Go grab a drink. Go to the bathroom. But do come back, back. back in about five, and ten, five or ten minutes. <laughs> All right. BRB.
Why? Why are you flipping me off, dude? Oh, it's funny. <laughs> the fuck did I do to you? You stupid. It's not kind of. It's not do funny. Do I bro. have to? Do I have to get the DMs up that we found recently, Dutch? <laughs> that, that's what you're doing. Danger. This will be the last episode of the S if you do that. Because <laughs> your mother, you will be canceled AM. <laughs> dude, yeah. <laughs> it's bad. There's just a Welcome lot to of campaign one of Fungen Select. There's just a lot. There's just a lot of Rule Thirty Four, you know, which I'm not ready to <laughs> to share with the world. Like, even though it's ironic, I don't like, think I'm, the world's ready for it. I'm not it's gonna be able to live weird. that down. So I'll just go no it's contact to all you fucks, and I'll start a new life somewhere. You know? It's weird that just all hey, stuff what? That you draw, what did I do? Like, uh, it's so weird that you draw, though. The fuck, man. Why does Dutch hate Talented me? Talented artist, that Dutch geek. Yeah, tons of artists. Dude! He's, he, he draws a mean cloaca. Duke, fucking, my juicer called me that Dutch Greek, and I'm sad. Fucking Your juicer? I subbed to Flats, and he called me that Dutch Greek when he thanked me for my sub. I'm like, damn, that's fucked up, dude. That's oh, up. that's brutal! It hurts. Yeah, Alright, that Dutch Greek confirmed, bro. Oh, <laughs> man. You have to change the name now. Like, that's just how it works. It's my, it's my juicer, Them's guys. The rules. It's my juicer. I don't know what it is with Americans Dumbins. and... Seven flats is crazy. I, it was just because he was milking, the, it was talk, milking fucking ads for the fucking drops. Dude, there were so many fucking ads. Yeah. Holy fucking shit. I was losing my mind. Yeah, he was, oh he my was, god. He was milking them for the fucking drops because he has like a lot of. Lurkers, yeah, because right? whenever there's a drop, so you get, he obviously has like way more like random. He streams, and stuff, he and streams and 16 hours a day and fucking milks those ads, baby, as he should. Um, especially in November, bro. It's like Christmas coming up. I just ads like I milk Coilo. Give a lot more. Although there is some kind of like ad apocalypse happening on Twitch right now, <laughs> which is pretty interesting. Isn't that always as per usual? Because of uh, the top 0.0001% of streamers not being cool people. So advertisers are like, I don't want to on Twitch for a little while. Anyway. Well, um, yeah, but the top 0, 0. Point whatever percent of streamers make up 90% of the viewership. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, anyway, more. as you all. Awaken after a uh, long night of, of, you know, an emotional night. Um, today is the day where plans need to get made. And uh, you, you kind of have to tear yourselves away from the few days of, of, of peace. And, you know, the little bit of closure you've been able to kind of grant yourselves. Um... Those days are over, and today you all wake up with this feeling of, you know, it's time, time to get back to it. And it fills you with fear, but also there is still that shred of confidence knowing that you've beaten two. You know, you're almost halfway there. Is that the prayer? That, shut up. That does fill you with some confidence of, like, maybe this impossible task. Maybe it's not as impossible. You know what I mean? That said, you all wake up long rested uh, on the next day. Uh, you all gather for food and breakfast. Um, what would you like to do? Uh, well, well, I guess once we're done eating, find... Uh, Raya Gell again, or mm -hmm. someone from the guild, if mm -hmm. we can't find her. Yeah, Raya Gell, uh, you'll be able to find her upstairs in Nukul's office. As she is kind of at the helm of the guild when Nukul is away on other business. Um, she is kind of the, the, the second uh, in command around these parts. Uh, so see, she already is sitting in Nukul's office... Uh, and there's just this, this, this a lot of paperwork on his desk, and 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 um, like the office itself, there's a lot of um, chromatis kind of iconography everywhere, and there's some decorations, almost kind of tell, kind of, basically with N it seems that with Nicole having grown older in age, he's kind of collected a bit of a like he's gathered a bit of a collection of 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 items that kind of that he gathered along his way when he was in his prime adventuring and there's some 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 
It's like a little time capsule. His office is like a, is like a little time capsule of his adventures and his feats of strength and, and whatnot. Um, but um, the fallen leaves tell a story. Right. As you all kind of gather at uh, the desk, Rygal kind of looks up at you all. Suppose it's time then. You bet. Um, so, sort of. It's time to discuss what we're doing. Yes. All right. Well, have a seat. Um, well, first things first. What's 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 your plan? Where are you headed? I will sort of look at the group a little hesitantly before saying, "It's like, oh well, Thermagar. I'm hoping uh, Polinar. Okay. That's where I'd find um, only for a day, at most. Um, less time spent there, the better. Um, oh boy." Just because they want to make a presence there. Mm hmm. Also, sort of in and out. Um, and then wherever you need us to go for whatever, I assume, airship we're getting, either we go back to here or if there's somewhere in Thermagar that's better. Well, um, I have a ship and a crew that is here. But you could uh, board the ship here. It's about a two day flight to get to Colinar, you said? Yes. Yeah, like a day, day and a half, maybe. Um, dock there, spend your time there, then hop back on and continue your journey. Given that there's only one dragon left that you can reach via airship, uh, I'm assuming Nazarg, far up north, is next on the list. As much I believe as we so. have a personal vendetta with Deathclaw. It... Well, so the other option is we go to the elemental plane of air to do two things uh i don't know how pressing your dad's need is looking at kess is getting pretty tight so should we even though we're here should we maybe skip to that one next after thermogar well, i can most... get us to the elemental plane of uh myself so we could we could get there right from thermogar yeah the main okay. worry is Three, the armament of the enemy. Well, I mean, the, maybe the good thing is when they expect us to go to Nazar next, and it would be maybe a bit unanticipated if we. I feel like it might be the opposite. Surely they're going to be looking at our emotional response. We've just had a uh... great loss. Surely we don't want another. But Kess is. It is time sensitive. And Kess like wasn't with us go for the last little while. Well, it wasn't the fear... you. So maybe they might not. Uh, yeah. There is some I... something to say for both cases, right? Nazarg, uh, besting him will allow you to gather a lot of powerful artifacts that will make the upcoming fights a lot easier. But given that um, it seems that there are some personal matters linked to Pale Cutter, um, I can understand your decision to go there first. Uh, both are very possible. Both are equally as important. So it is oh, it is fully oh. up to you. Uh, I'll fully just like look at Cass and be like, say, if time is as limited as you seem to be suggesting, we should go to Pellcutter first then. Yeah, but if I it, think that's the best idea. We will have to know, and I don't mean this in a way to be insensitive. But it, it isn't. We will be fighting a big fight mm -hmm. after. I mean, Pelgard is going to be difficult, anyways. But they will rearm. They will fortify with when we are successful against Pelgard. That is safe to assume. Whichever one you best assume that they will be doubling down the defenses on the next yeah. one, given that. And if there's all, if there's already armaments, their that numbers one, are thinning even more struggle mm. but we should do what's right for personal matters you guys have done more than that for me so I'm going to say when I says any objections I guess it is a sort of 
not changing course, but we should have a see at Pelcutter. Get him. Uh, keep all the bonds we have. Pelcutter, it is. <clears throat> okay. In that case, um, what we could do alternatively is. Yes, you said you have a way to transport everyone to the plane of air, so that is something you can... Yeah, I can plane shift now. There you go. Good. Um, well, in that case, I'll leave it up to you. If you do still want to hit up Thermogar first, you can. Um, the reason I suggested airship was because I assumed you would continue north, um, given that you're just going to hop there for a quick visit. Um, I can pull some strings and allow you to use the teleportation circle there. Might be a bit... Is there one straight to color now? Yes, there is. Oh. Okay. The only reason I suggested airship was because you would need transportation to go beyond anyway. Yes, yes. Uh, but if that is your only destination on this plane of existence, perhaps a teleport is a lot uh, better. And then after that, uh... Kes can just take you to the plane of air whenever... You deem yourselves ready. In that case, how much do you all know of white dragons? Besides the fact that they are probably the biggest assholes of the chromatic dragon family. I'll be honest, I'll say, I'll say, I'll say, I'll say, I'll say they're all biggest assholes, but yes. No doubt it is. Do I get a gold star? Um, you get two gold heard, stars are, if you're right. I heard something about... It's true. Um, in theory, not that this means they are unintelligent, but they are the least intelligent of the chromatic dragons, historically speaking. They are um, considered the weakest, but then again, the weakest of the five chromatic dragons. So that is still it's very still nothing to be powerful. With. But they are also the most feral. The most, um, they you? live off of their instincts. They don't particularly care for any form of rule. It just does what it wants to do when it wants to do it. Which, given that Pilcutter is a part of this alliance between dragons, is exceptional, but trust me when I say that once you get to a fight with him, the survival instincts will kick in, and he'll be a wild beast with not a single care for anything but his own survival. Which does not bode well for you, given that you're going to be the people that stand in the way of said survival. So, enter his lair, Caution. Oh, I was going to say with care. Oh. Yeah, because, you know, up to this point, we've been entering Dragon Lairs with reckless abandon. Well, well good I point. mean, the last one was a little don't, more reckless. I just, last one, we didn't have much choice. Last one, I was a little early to the party. So. Hmm. They are, um, white dragons are a lot smaller than the other chromatic dragons. Um, obviously, they like the cold, which is why a snowy mountain in the plain of air makes a lot of sense. So, you know, pack your winter clothes. Um, on top of that, keep your eyes peeled. As you can imagine, trying to spot a white dragon in a white background, quite difficult. Other than that, um, you fought dragons before. Expect more of the same, but just a little more chaotic in this case, where the pre previous dragons you fought, you know, um, uh, uh, Deathjaw and um, Brixoth. Brixoth, they're uh, dragons are all wild animals, right? But they, the other kinds have some form of logic. It, it, 
their decisions make feel... sense. Whereas nothing is going to make sense about the things that you'll encounter Weirdly, in your fight with Pilpeter. Knowing, knowing us, I feel like chaos is our... Sort of where we're most at home, to be honest. Having to deal with machinations and plans and scheming, we tend to fall into those traps, but pure chaos? Sort of our forte. Not to go as false hope or anything, but you know. There's it's also a um, a good reason he chose the mountain top that he resides on as his lair, as um, I've done my research, and I believe it is some kind of... Correct me if I'm wrong, but... Kes, your father is sick, right? I caught that. Yes. And this is a sickness that only affects... your people, if I may be so blunt? Yes. Yeah. Figured as much. See, one particular trait white dragons have that not many people know of is they are this disease that your people, the, the elementals, can only suffer from is of draconic origin. Yeah. Um to see it as a form of biological warfare. So it makes sense that the only place that happens to have a cure for said disease happens to be where, bless you, the dragon resides, given that is a, it is a disease of their making. This disease, however, um, can only affect people of the elemental variety, so most of you will be safe. Um, Kess, be careful. There's not really much you can do, but um, there happens to be a second bunch of those flowers out there. You might want to take those with you just in case. Yeah. As far as white dragons go, um, it is very cold. Their breath is very cold. Will probably freeze you where you stand. So like I said, if you need to go gather things that allow you to withstand the cold for a bit a bit better, I'd recommend it. Um, and as far as anything else, you've fought dragons before. This is more of the same. Just a bit more chaotic. So kick his ass. Way. Uh, is the plan. So before we head out to Thermagar, um, we should get some winter clothes. I guess. I'd recommend it. Yes. Okay. You'll be, uh, for what I assume, is you'll be climbing a mountain, all the way to the tippity top, snow okay. blanket, trying to find a way into cool. the tippity top. A lot of snow, a lot of cold, a lot of wind. To tippity top. Chilly. Tippity top. Tippity top. Can you mm. buy winter clothing here? We are in a desert. I feel like there's an all purpose store. Nights <laughs> too not nights do nights do tend to get a bit chilly around here too. Um it's still winter here. And even if you can't find winter clothes, I'm sure you'll be able to find some other Oh actually we're going to we're going to Thermagar, aren't we? Oh yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah, Thermagar is so no. The Empire's Winter Wonderland. We can go shopping, we can go shopping in Thermagar for... Yeah, we're shopping in Thermagar. Fun. It's true. So, they'll definitely have uh, good clothing for you there. Absolutely. Put it on your family's tab. <laughs> I don't think they will have a tab there, but sure. Are they on vacation or something? or? I'm messing you? with you. I'm messing with you. Your family... Let's try go. Not the thing to be messing with, I'll be honest. No, okay, no boundary. Sorry, there. my bad. Okay. I apologize. It's fine. That's handful. Alright, moving on. <clears throat> anyway, 
anyway, uh, any, I assume there's anything so, else we need to know, or is it all just go on their ship, go to the really. guard, get teleported to the plane of air, kill a dragon, come back? Easy. I think you missed a cure a dad in there somewhere, but other than that, yeah, yeah that the seems whole like point the of doing air dragon next. Cure a dad's come back. <laughs> sounds, that sounds about right. Yep. So I guess I, uh, Put it in under that came into the killer dragon bracket. It's nice to see where your priorities lie, Lazarin. What, killing a dragon? Yes. Funny <laughs> enough, that is sort of the main goal. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, um, I really wish I could give you more information, but, um, never been to the mental plane of air, so I don't know really what to expect. <laughs> no shit. I have. I fucking Cass. Cass, yeah. <laughs> it's still like. Ryan was like, look at Cass. Well, yeah, I, okay. Anyway, um, all I know is white dragons are dickheads. So. All dragons are dickheads. Well, to be hashtag honest, not all dragons. They all are. But, yes. <laughs> no, every dragon we've met. Oh, not bad. Is it the chromatic ones that are bad? Yes. Not true. One dragon helped us. In the last one. There was still kind of a not bad. I'll Actually, kind of true. <laughs> she died fighting her own dad. Yeah. Wait. Chromatic dragons tend to be dickheads. Metallic dragons tend to be all right. Yes. Uh, safe, safer language, you know, than they <laughs> tend to. But still, you know, quite presumptuous. Yes. All right. Well, um, I, I, well, uh, see, there is a whole thing that I need to discuss with you regarding the artifacts in the Zarg's area. But given that you're not really heading there, we could just put that on the back burner and you know, I'll bring that up when you actually decide to go there. I think it would be best to put to that on the back burner. To not kind of information overload you all, you know what I mean? I Plus mean, that means so... I wasn't really looking forward to this meeting, so I could cut this meeting by about two hours if I leave that for next time. And that it sounds great to me. Holy shit, and also, that's a lot of information. And, and also the information could change by the time we come back, so... That is also a good Likely. point. What Likely. I will do is, given that you're going to be... I might have to discuss this with the Empress, but I think it might be wise to send some scouts ahead to maybe hopefully be able to give your, you a bit more of an idea of what you're getting into once you cross the lake. As we said before, the place in Agrend where you're supposed to go, no one has really explored yet. Maybe, I don't know, befriend, maybe maybe I can send out some scouts, get a lay of the land, befriend some locals. Seems good. Sounds like I can't hurt. Well, we do have those friends at the lake. Well, no, they've moved. Different lake. They've moved. No? Oh, Didn't you, right. Wasn't that part of your deals, like, to get them out of there? Because yeah. Is Tisha yeah. bad? Aboleth bad, right? Yes. Yeah. I haven't brought up right. speed. All things you've done. Well, not all things, but the important bits. Seems like everyone has, and I just throw a sort of sideways glance to, uh, why can't I remember? It's. Fell. Fell. Fell to the wee. Oh, there you go. Yep. Now, Lixen, no. <laughs> oh, God. Uh... <laughs> all right, well. Boy. With that said, um, just good luck. You can find me when you're back. Hopefully successful, and hopefully all of you this time. Hopefully. And yeah, don't forget, if you're in Thermogar, pack some winter clothes. You'll need them. Bring, um... No, making fires on a snowy mountaintop might be hard because of the wind. Just bring some, you know, some extra dry wood, things that burn up easy, you know? I don't wanna... You know you have a, we have, we have ways to make ourselves comfortable. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, you can all come in my vessel. Did, so, did you forget that point where we have magic casters here who can cast spells to make things comfortable? Oh, you are brave. They, they just have know some that trauma. we have to give them a little bit of leniency. Mm, I, I don't guess. think I care enough. You are in my house, insulting I don't disagree. Me. I'm new here, just to remind Careful, you. Careful, Mr. Dunbar. 
Oh, this isn't just right up your alley right now. To my friends. Banter. Perhaps. Okay. Don't think we're quite there yet. Oh. Especially not people who don't even remember her name. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's just have a little... Dude, that's, <laughs> that's, that's fuck, some OSC bleed right there. <laughs> Above table talk. Uh, uh, I was also very drunk at the time. I can barely remember my own name. You were? <laughs> you were drunk at the wedding? No way. Fuck. That's <laughs> news to me, bro. I'm kidding. Why of course. Getting... Listen. <laughs> I'm. I, I forgot me? that when it comes to magic, you are all a lot more capable than I. See, I'm the old-fashioned type. You know, I just hack at things, and okay. well, I Let's cannot conjure a range. magic bubble out of my ass that happens to be a very comfortable climate at all times. It doesn't come out from there. It's from the armpit. It would be a lot funnier if it did. Yeah, it would. It'd be very funny. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. So where, where are we getting this airship? Or is it docked? Well, you're teleporting, just... right? Oh, we're fucking Yeah, that was the new decision. Where are we teleporting from? The basement. Yep. Well, How, can't we right. just... How am I supposed to read my new book if we're just going to fucking teleport? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. That you... sounds like a you problem, Debbie. <laughs> I mean, do you want to spend the next week here? Why well, do you never think of my needs? <laughs> Speak up, asshole. Well, Davian, if you spend the next two days without sleeping, just reading your book. Now, two levels of you emotion. joke. <laughs> but. <laughs> but. Two levels of exhaustion isn't that bad. <laughs> well, 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 well. Is, well, well, well. is it not? I because I'm pretty sure I can recover a level of exhaustion with a short rest. Oh my uh, god. Uh, uh, like, oh, that's little, right. Uh, little warlock things? No, it's a ranger thing. Yeah, it's a ranger oh, thing. Uh, thing. That's yeah. uh, ranger thing. Ranger actually has a good ability. <laughs> Dude. What's that's a ranger thing? Who am I? <laughs> um, no, I think... <laughs> <laughs> What's that noise? <laughs> Being a Duke. Man, this man slept in my house for like a week. <laughs> and you loved it. And this is the and this is what happened. <laughs> and you loved no, it. No, it's great. I barely no, I barely fucking saw the man because I was at work most of the time. So you know, fucking. So in the morning. I bet you he joked off in every corner of your room. Oh. Definitely. Every corner. <laughs> Made a whole new corner just to <laughs> joke off in. Just a joke off. Right. Um. Well, if His you're ready, living room's a then pentagon now. follow me. Do you know where in Colinar you're supposed to meet? Oh, you're not a fucking clue. All right. Well, um, I'd say uh, when we get there, sort of problem. Aye, aye, Captain. Follow me. I'll uh, have you sent on your way. Uh, I would like to, just before we teleport, uh, check... The circlet and see how many gems are missing. Oh, so uh, they fully replenish the long rest, correct? Yeah, yeah, uh, I believe so. Yes, <clears throat> let me double check <clears throat> the circlet and texture. Ba, 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 ba. They do. Oh, yeah, all use of charges after. Uh, uh, well, then in that case, none are missing. Cool, so none are missing. Kind of we did fine. establish that like the entirety of the fucking guild hall is covered in lead, like unscribable. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm but, gonna, um, it's still a hey man, <laughs> just in case. Do I feel bad for the builders, man? I think of all the lead poisoning. What'd you say? Uh, yeah. What are you trying to say, Bill? Um, I'm gonna study the teleport the circle before. Okay. And try and memorize it a little bit. Uh, well, basically, what 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 you see is there's just this circle kind of drawn in chalk on the ground, and there's just a handful of 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 wounds kind of etched along it. And when Ryagel instructs you all to enter the circle, there is this, this this like cabinet in the room, and there's a bunch of different scrolls. And she just pulls out one scroll, 
looks at it. No, that's not it. Puts it back. And basically, she's looking for the sigil that is linked to... Because every mm. teleportation circle has its own, like... Yeah. Just fucking dropped my phone on the floor because it fell in my pocket. Sick, though. <laughs> Love that for me. Nice. Um, each teleportation circle has, like, its own sigil that kind of... You need this sigil in able, to be able to teleport to this circle kind of thing. Um, yeah. But, so she goes through them all, and then when, when she finds it, she draws that sigil at the spot around the chalk circle that is, like, where there is room for it, essentially. Um, and as she finishes do doing that, she takes a scroll and reads a few words. And then looks at you. You might want to all grab a hold of each other real quick. Grabs on to nearest person. And she then finishes the incantation. And rolls a scroll up. Looks at you all. Any moment now. <clears throat> Specific. Any so you're right. second now. And then, so as she's kind of saying that, she'll finish the last few words of the incantation, and then suddenly you all kind of just get kind of sucked up into this empty space of nothingness before you open your eyes and you suddenly appear in this side room. And you can see there's these glass windows in the doors mm -hmm. and you appear to be in a magic shop there's a lot of shelves oh, and things uh through the windows and you just appear through in this window. little side room <laughs> as you uh appear in this side room the doors immediately swing open and a familiar high elven woman greets you as theonel stands before you well what a lovely surprise. What brings you all the way out here, friends? Business? Pleasure? Family. A bit of both. Oh, drama. Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> lovely. Drama, sure. <clears throat> Given that there's only one group of people that are aware of this television circle sigil, I assume it's important, so I won't hold you, but it is lovely seeing you. Well, it's lovely seeing most of you again. I'll let you f but does she look at someone when she says that? She purposely, like, looks at everyone and just kind of, like... Waits to see. Let's it, leaves it up to your interpretation to... For all you, for all you know, she could be bullshitting, just to search it. Well, here's how I'm going to choose to interpret it. Is that mm -hmm. she said it's lovely to see almost everyone again, but she hasn't seen Thel before. So it, she's not seeing that again. Everyone hates though. True. True. Uh, true. Uh, Hashtag everyone I, hates. I uh, hit Brooks. It's like, what the fuck did you do? That's my <laughs> least, that's my least favorite sitcom. Everyone hates Everyone hates Bell. <laughs> well. Also, I was wrong. I got confused because when we did the one shot, I was playing Lausanne, who was oh. high enough level. It's a tenth level class feature, mm. tireless. So oh. I can't do that. I see, I see, Damn. I see. What a shame. <laughs> so I'll just take the exhaustion. Well, if you need anything from me, let me know. If not, then feel free to be on your well, merry way. We do need some winter clothing. So if you happen to have some magically enchanted winter clothing, perhaps. Well, but of course. Like maybe some fur-lined boots that also have some extra protection or something. Maybe some apple bottom jeans. Boots okay. with the fur? With yes. The, fur, yeah. the whole party's <laughs> looking at her? <laughs> oh, God. Um, we can't keep going back to the fucking... <laughs> to the bling era hip-hop, guys. Yeah. Um, well, I do have uh, several sets of armor that would protect you a lot in the cold, but if you're just looking for some nice fur coats, I'm sure I can... And some. Um, is it just to get it clear that you're looking for something to protect you from the cold going, in a magical sense? A... Uh, I mean, I was going to just get some standard um, warmer clothing, but if I can also get warmer clothing that has magical benefits, why not? But if you don't, then I'll just go get regular boots and some um... warmer fabric. Well, there's, there's rings that could help you resist cold. 
Uh, there's potions if you don't need it to be a permanent effect. It could be, uh, you know, it could be a more temporary I'm already thing. naturally resistant to the cold. I'm thinking more mm. just frostbite. Looks at the open-toed sandals that I'm wearing. Right. Well, if, <laughs> well yes. Um, and, and we're going to trek through some enough. snow, I was told. So I feel like I am not properly dressed. I got some fur-lined boots for you, but they're not magical, I'm afraid. They're just... They're, they're well, a that's fine. We've got some bits and pieces of clothing that are in, you know, that we could enchant, but haven't gotten around to yet, so I could just snag you those. I don't know if we'll be here long enough. I heard enchantment takes some time. Oh, yes. Yes, it does. But I could just um, snag you the unenchanted the one, boots. and at least your toesies won't get frostbit. Rosies. Yes, please. I gave up uh -huh. a lot for these, so I should probably keep them looking nice, you know? Well, I don't expensive pedicure? Uh, used to be aquatic. Had a tail. No legs, so. Interesting. I'll do it. I am morbidly curious, but it's none of my business. Okay, just give me a moment to grab those boots. I'll just... I don't really care enough to charge you for a pair of mundane boots. Doesn't feel right. You sure? I... It's fine. It's fine. Oh, well, that's lovely. Uh, yeah. It's, it's, it's whatever, really. And she'll go grab you just a pair of fur boots. She can... Cool. And she's going soft. Doesn't give a fuck. Um, <laughs> Alright, well. If there is there anything else you guys need in the form of cold resistance, let me know. Um, I'll be here all day. If I'm not here, my shop will be open regardless. Got a lot of people educated enough. Well, most of them. Educated enough to help you. Um... The most common way would be either a ring of warmth or ring of cold resistance or potions. Um, both, you know, potions obviously temporary. The rings a bit more permanent. Uh, but yes, I will uh, no longer hold you. And perhaps we will meet again very soon. Perhaps not. Enjoy your hike. Not uh, looking forward to it, but thank you. So, whilst we're still in the shop, mm -hmm. I will cast sending okay. to my mom and just, I'll say, um, whereabouts are you? Where can I meet you? Or at least try and find you. Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> it takes uh, a couple a couple minutes, but if you eventually you get a reply. Oh, you're here. Um, across the general store, there's a park. I'll send someone to go collect you. Uh, as I get that message back, I will... I'm just, like, constantly checking that fucking circlet to see if any time it changes. Okay. Uh, so far, so good. So far, so good. Um, do we mind waiting here for about an hour? Why? Uh, well, so I can make us both resistant to the cold, uh, Lazarin. Uh, I mean, can you do that? My parents? I well, I was just thinking if we run into something on the way. I should be fine for the cold here. It's not that bad. Compared to the top of the mountain. Uh, can okay. Do. We can do right now. It's, I mean, if it's that. I don't know, it's fine. It's fine. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I did say it. Say it, uh, it was. It's I'm more... gonna fuck myself. No, no, it's, no, and no, Jax will walk out the door. No, Jax, no, Jax, it's more because my mom's sending some. Okay. Okay. Uh, I didn't mean it like that. Am I the asshole? Am I the asshole? Uh, I'm gonna write a Reddit post on uh, my name. <laughs> hey, Mail, ITA. 24. <laughs> friend. Hey, I know. 386. What the fuck, Jax? Um, Jax is uh, right on, am I overreacting? Am I overreacting? Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I will follow the directions I was given. I'll sort of say to the group, uh, I've been given... Yeah, as you look around, uh, this this town, uh, it's 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 not very big. It has, like... Um, it's basically... It, it's a town. It's not a village. It's not a city. It's a town. But it, it has... It's, it's about average. Yeah. It has... Uh, a, 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 you step out of the uh, Arcana Emporium franchise here, and there is this small little square that has a bunch of shops and different things. And you can see that the way the layout of this town is basically there's kind of this this market square in the like slap bang in the center. And there's just kind of these housing districts kind of built around the market square. Um, architecture wise, this town looks relatively recent. It's not a town that has existed for, for you know, hundreds of years. This is something... Um, that 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 you feel like like has only been here for a couple hundred years tops um because it looks a lot more modern in layout compared to the the older towns and cities you've been in uh, but yeah you can see the general store and you can see across from that a small little park with some benches everything covered in snow except for the pads um but like all the benches, all the bushes, and whatever other trees are there are all covered in snow. It is cold. You are. Billy. You're up north. <laughs> this is. Uh, it's like Canada. You go from the hot, arid desert to snow everywhere. <laughs> so it's a bit of a. I'm much contrast. more comfortable here. Is there a place that's constant that's just normal? <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice 14 degrees, slightly overcast. Um, but as you all breeze. go to the park, yeah. eventually, uh, Elazarin, you see a smaller individual, well, smaller, uh, maybe five foot something, uh, skinny looking, uh, skinny looking, uh, hood up, walking directly towards you. And as he reaches you, he kind of looks up to face you, and you recognize this to be your younger brother. Rolfir. And he'll just kind of, in a semi-hushed tone, it's been a while, big bro. That's his hands. <coughs> Hope you're keeping well. Kind of looks around. You Is seen... there any palpable animosity between? You the seen two where them? we are? Mm -hmm. We are okay for you know given the circumstances, but um, let's just say the last few weeks, months, however long, have been. I've known better times. It's for your own good. Let's get going. Oh, I understand. We all understand. Uh, it's Lyaria. You might have to worry about. She's not taking this relocation well. I roll my eyes. Uh, if he turns his back on me, I mm -hmm. would like to night web detect her. Yeah. Yeah. Um. No, you're good. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm broke. Uh, and also to your question, dude. Uh, hey man, roll like an inside check order. <laughs> <laughs> I would also like to do that. I go for it. Hey, and what did you mean, um, rough it? Ooh, bad, 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 bad. Below ten. Um, twenty-eight. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, uh, I got a six, but my passive insight is thirteen. <laughs> oh, th uh, thirteen. It seems pretty like normal on like a, a fucking ridiculous high roll. There's. You can see that they are not, like, how, how to word this without just being like... Hey, they're not well, fighting, it's... but they're not close? No, 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 it's like... more there's not a big relationship there. And yeah. Lazarin was not around when Rafir was growing up. Yeah, okay. so it's like, there he is, is his older exactly. brother, but it's like, it's like, he's his older brother. Yeah. But they the siblings that not... are pretty far apart, rather than like yeah. a two, three year... You know, Elazarin yeah. got, sold, yeah, really Elazarin got sold to a church, so hasn't really been around yeah. to watch his hasn't brother been grow around. It's, it's, <laughs> almost, it's almost like, you know, like a distant cousins that you see like at weird family gatherings. It's almost yeah. like that kind of relationship where you get on, you talk, you catch up. But you're but not like, besties. You're not like, <laughs> it's my younger brother, I'm fucking riding dive in. It's like, mm. it's my younger brother. 
cool. <laughs> like so they, not they, so like very different to like Brooks's vibe with his. Yeah, brother. it's not. It's not like yeah. It's not a, a, a true loving. It's not like animosity. There's no like anger or hatred there. But there's definitely yeah. a, a more just no closeness. It's not just, that you it's know of. <laughs> yeah, as far as, uh, from a Lazarus end at least. Rolfe fucking might hate this. Hate, hate him. I don't know. I mean, if my name is Rolf, I would do so. It's Rolf. Rolf here. Rolf. Rolf here. Oh, so he's just, he's just a dog. Rolf Galba Vinor Dunbar. Rolf, Rolf. We 17 year old land. R U F F. R O F I R. Okay. But yeah, he, uh, he escorts you all to this small little hovel. Uh, tucked away in one of the residential areas. And as you enter, he takes his hood off, and you can see there's a lot of physical similarities to Elazarin. There's the same, like, like huh. dirty blonde hair color, the same very, very bright green eyes. Uh, also, kind of, you know, the same kind of, like, skinny-ish build. Um, there's a lot of physical similarities between them. Uh, and as you all enter, he'll turn to all of you. Right, well, this is our humble abode. Um... You'll find mother upstairs tending to father, most likely. And Loyaria, well, she'll be around here somewhere. Um, like I said before to you, brother, is... Uh, she's not very happy with this predicament. So if she manages to catch you, she might give you an earful. But... Um, you know. Nothing new there. I was going to say, I feel like... It's nothing new. That's... Ten years old as time, that one. Um, that being said... Will... Yep. How have you been? Well, you know. Um... <laughs> no. As I don't know everything as... about all the things, but I know enough to, to say I'm that... alive, and that's what... That's what matters. Everything else is a bonus. Must say, the whole okay. having to hide is a bit bizarre. I'm sorry for that, but... Any idea how long? <laughs> Hopefully not too much longer. But probably still a good while yet. There's a, there's a fight breaking out. Running out of books to read, that's all. It's a fight breaking out. Some would call it a full out war, but. The less you know, the better. Don't ask questions. Do, 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 do. Damn! Die. Stay okay. down. Well, last one, you don't want to, like. You don't want to make him less inquisitive. It's still okay to be curious. And... Ev, curiosity killed the cat, though. No. <laughs> but it also oh, prefers the greatest innovations of our time. A bit too soon to say that, isn't it? Jeez, that's kind of insensitive. Uh, okay, <laughs> the turn of phrase. Also, I'm the one who's going to beat myself up about that later, so let's not go into that. Um, I just... I understand it is a lot. But... So we're going good. If you say so. I, uh, like I said, it's... It's very strange. Well, obviously, Father being the way he is, and has been for the last... God's know how long. Um, Mother... Pretends to be okay with it all, but... She's not. At least Loyaria is very honest and open about her feelings about all of this. Uh, not good. But... The things I was told is basically... Um, you warned us that we need to hide or else we'll most likely die. So thank you, I suppose, for the heads up. I feel like that is... Not misplaced. Which is the least I could do. Well, no, the least you could have done was not say anything. Well, in terms of being helpful, at least. So. <sighs> right, I Why are you here, to, to in general? Uh, I, I, I thought um, meeting up like this would not be would be a bad idea. Aren't you like oh, being watched or whatever? Oh, it's 
It's uh, he says that I'll check the circlet. Uh, nothing. Yeah, I. Uh, yes, but we have provisions in place to hopefully counteract that. Um. I have a way of curing Archibald, so that I will. Really? Well, hopefully. Okay. Well, um, they'll be upstairs. Um... I'll go see them. It's been a long time since I've seen them. Yes. And a lot's happened since then. And I'll start to just walk up the stairs. He'll look Take at the rest of you. As Elijah kind of goes upstairs. Um, thank you for keeping him safe. Alive? He didn't make it fucking easy. <laughs> yes, well, I don't know. And he really. keeps a lot of us safe is fair, so it's, you know, a reciprocal thing. Well, at least being sold to a temple did him some good in that regard, I suppose. It's fucked up, but at least made him. I don't know. I feel like, obviously, strange decision to do what they did with the Lazarin, but I don't know. I don't really know him. I feel like you know him better than I do. So, uh, as long as you say he's good and he keeps you safe, you keep him safe, then that's, that's all I need. Yeah, Look, I definitely Whoever, think whoever a Lazarin is now Th can't be changed. Do. Whoever a Lazarin is now can't be changed. I'm sure he much would have rather chosen his calling than having it forced upon him. And I'm sure he would have liked to have been a better brother to you. So, I wouldn't uh, claim that I there mean... was any good in him mm. being sold to a temple. But, you know. I was going to say, it's not really his fault that he... At know. some point, you got to make peace of it. No, none of it's his fault. Uh, exactly. That's what I'm saying. If there's anything... I've... Listen, I've been... I've questioned the decision-making, but then again, I'm not a parent, so I don't know. I mean, whatever. But as long as, you know, as long as he's good and you guys keep each other safe, then... Hopefully, um, this situation is over soon, and we can go back to how things were. Not hiding away in a snowy, um, hovel. Well, at least you're not dead. It's a small sacrifice. Sometimes I wish I was. This is very boring. Oh, Jesus Christ. That seems rather insensitive as no. well. Um, listen. I'm, I mean, if I'm you want sure to die, we're going to go fight a dragon, so you could come I'm back. sure you'll learn Whoa. a lot in the next few years mm. about life but just just but ma i don't know make the most of a bad situation but just yeah count your blessing yeah whatever you say all right i used to probably go follow him before they start i don't know they might he might need some protection because if loyalia is around then no oh, might uh, go, go protect him nice to meet you i'm gonna go upstairs yeah i'll just go upstairs too Davian will... Like, if his sister's more risk than a dragon, I gotta see this. <laughs> <laughs> Get some popcorn. <clears throat> Alright. Um, Elasrin, mm -hmm. as you go upstairs, you can see the door to the master bedroom is open. And as you kind of peer inside, you can see your father lying down in a bed with his eyes closed. And your mother just sitting on a chair, reading beside him. Um, it doesn't uh, appear that she has I, seen you yet. I will, seeing my mother, will run into the room and just like, fuck it, like, dive on hug her. Like, she just kind of puts the book down. Kind of, <laughs> Alright, yes, it's good to see mother. you too. It's good to see you too. Just, you're breaking my back. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, straight away, don't worry, Victor. <laughs> straight away. I mean, you're, no, good. I mean, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Got fucking, I don't know, I don't know, it's all good. Uh, uh, it sort of like... Very good to see you, son. Oh, oh, it's been a lot. What's happened? How's Archibald doing? Call your father by his name. He is, um... 
doing the same he has been doing. I'd be lying if I said that. He's got he's getting worse. Not surprising. He is conscious for about two hours a day, and in those two hours, it's a lot of rambling. It's not. It's not good. Which. Plus, adding in this sudden relocation has taken its toll on all of us, especially your sister. I apologize. Well, she can get over it as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I know. I think she's out and about in the town. I've tried containing her inside here. Didn't work. So she's doing her thing. Well, if she can't, um, you know. Can't handle such things. I guess the consequences are on her own uh, accord. But she'll be fine. She she's a clever girl. She'll be able to keep herself unnoticed. Good. It's just she had a lot of things going on back home and just being stripped away from all of that. Um, yeah, it set her off. Yeah, I could uh, say I understand, but I feel like. Her own life is probably a bigger deal than whatever thing she's got going on in, in that life. I see, I understand and I agree, but, you know. I have a little... Oh, no, I know my older sister very well. Yeah. Anyway, um, I... If you've told me before, then I may have forgotten, but... Why are we meeting up? What is the, the reason? I thought this would be a bad idea. Oh, it's a horrible one again, checks the circlet. Um, <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, it is, but... Uh, well, one, I wanted to see you, just in general. It's, I've been through a lot. Um, and just needed a grounding presence. But two, uh, for a little while now, I would wanted to come earlier, but this is the earliest convenience I've had. I have been given away, I believe, or hope it is true, of curing his ailment. You, 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 you what? I... Becoming... Knowing, talking to Grunbar, Elemental Lord. Um, I feel like I'm terribly out of the loop. Oh, God, I just assumed you knew as well. I, I, don't worry about it. Uh, a, a classic Archibald decision, shall we say. See, I would like... ask him to explain it, but maybe we'll have to be able to do that after you cure him. Are you sure this will work? Oh, I have no idea. I'm just going by the word of a very powerful being who... Inflicted him with the ailment, so you know. What? A weird. The line, our bloodline, well, it's on his side, is um, connected to the elemental lord of the earth. And, uh, the, he tests them, and if they can't handle the power, they go crazy, and if they can, then. Do, Powers bestowed upon them, they become the champion. Hey, by the way, I'm the champion of this <laughs> Earth Elemental Lord. The fa father, unfortunately, isn't. If it is a part of the bloodline. Oh. <clears throat> okay. Um. Wow. So, basically, if I get this right, and correct me if I'm wrong, what happened to your father was the result of a test which he failed unknowingly yes that is fucked up i mean sorry that um, is really messed up you can swear in front of me mum i'm not i just try not to right <laughs> I fucking who cares. your brother has been a nightmare well you know at what point did the group come in <laughs> Like towards towards, towards there, yeah. The, at this at this yeah. point, we'll, probably around the corner. Like you could swear in front of me, mom. It's fine. Yeah, that just sounds sounds funny. Funny. She'll like look at you all. Oh, you brought friends. Um, and she'll this kind of like gets up and kind of like the the the. 
you know, her her wealthy background is showing when she like gets up and makes herself presentable and kind of, oh, I I was not ready for visitors and kind of like composes herself and does like a little bow and uh, hello, um, I'm, my name is Astinia. I'm Lazarin's mother. Hello. And that one there lying in the bed is Archibald. Or Archie. No, Archibald. <laughs> like Archie. That's why I call it that. That's any possibility. Actually, you know what? Don't even go for it. Archie. Archie. <laughs> I don't think you'll like that. Archie uh, Laszlo. You know. Laszlo? Shut up. No, 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 no. This isn't a thing. Not to my mother. Yes, there's not a pet name for it. No. Well, it's not my pet name, but I think mine might be offensive to you. Pet so. name? Probably not. The, no one the likes child. your names. They're not very good, so... I could be offensive um, to them too. She gave him that name. That's rude. Anyway, it's it's very nice. Gave him too many names. It's very nice um, making your acquaintance. Um, uh, that's Kess. Yeah. That's Davian. That's Jack's books. They. Any friend of Lazarin is, is is welcome here, of course. Especially given that you are, well, by his side on whatever dangerous quests he's on. I assume you all we share. Kill dragons. Dragons. Oh, how lovely. Mm, uh, yeah. I will go up to Chibold on mm -hmm. the side. And sort of. So, has he been much conscious today at all? Can I? Um. If we can. Why did you go like full fucking Orson Welles, dude? <laughs> <laughs> so has he been very much awake <laughs> today at all? Is he? <laughs> He's had a, a bit of... Kicks the bed, he doesn't do anything. <laughs> He's had a bit of food uh, about an hour ago, but that's really the only waking moment he's had so far today. Which is a nice break from all the rambling, you know. Override and override and override. So, it's it pains me to say, but I much prefer it's the way it is now, when he's just kind of not awake most of the well, time. to make sure this is going to work, I do need to wake him. So, Archibald! <laughs> and I'll shake him. <laughs> or oh, I'll shake a little tap on the shoulder. Like, come on! As you do so, you can see his eyes opening up, but there's no oh, one home. Bastard. Like, there's no one home. <laughs> like, there's just, oh, like, he's just kind of... He's looking, like, straight through you, and he kind of, like, instinctively... Raises up a little bit. Uh, they... They must not... Get it. The override... Must be... Protected. Kept safe. Override. Where is it? Okay, I will... Pick up two little... Green gems... That I was given. Mm -hmm. And just sort of. Hold him. Touch him with him. And just sort of be like. I know this is going to work. Hold, the, hold on to these. I'll try to like grab his hands and like get him to hold on to them. As you. Instructions. Kind of hand him the gems and you kind of like enclose his fists around them. And then you kind of like grab his hands. You can see your skin kind of turns this more brittle texture for lack of a better uh yeah. word almost as if like think dry mud yeah. mm. um where it's just kind of this like crackly texture and this kind of like wraps around his hands as well and travels up archibald's arms until basically his entire body is covered in this like thin layer of crackly sand and mud. And suddenly this exterior hardens and becomes a sleek green gem like consistency. And then it just kind of bursts and kind of turns to dust. And Archibald just kind of his eyes widen and he just <gasps> what 
The override. I know its location. Stolen. A traitor. The Black Dragon has it. Betrayal. Is this ya? And then he snaps out of it. Is this ya? And he looks... That one we knew. <laughs> looks at all of you. Oh, I'm... Um, <clears throat> I'm terribly sorry. I must have... Dozed off. Um, Elastrin. Is that you? You're your friends. My love. What, what, where are we? What, what, what's going on? And he kind of like kicks himself up and kind of like sits up straight and stands up and just kind of like falls back down to the bed because he has been laying down for like years at this point. His muscles have atrophied a little bit. <laughs> I, what's going on? I feel, I'm confused. What's there to be confused about, Archibald? Well, first of all, you're here, and you're never here. Second of all, I just wow. where is here? Third of all, who and are these people? Fourth of all, <laughs> why can't I stand? When he said, while he's saying that, I just like lean over and whisper to Cass, I'm like, did he just legitimately try to gaslight his own father? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. And justify it, I think. Well, one, I'm here because you were very unwell. What? And I. F That's oh, preposterous. You know you're little... uh, yes. It and he'll look at control. look at your mother, who is like tears welling your up in mother. her eyes, and she's like, Archibald, you're you're awake and you're talking, and he's kind of like, What are you talking about? <laughs> um. Your little nice little family secret you kept from me, you know, the whole grandma thing. Caught up with you, old man. Oh. You've been talking about the override for a very long time. The what? The Thermogar. Oh. You've been... Uh, whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> now, I don't understand what you're talking about. The over what? That bit, I get you not short of understanding. Um, basically, you've been suffering a madness for a few years, and it's lived you... A few years? Well, Wait, yes, what year is it? 30th year, is it? fourth era. He'll just, like, look at his wife, shocked. Oh. Oh, no. This is, and he just kind of like lays back down. Oh, all right, deep breath, Archibald. It's only a few years in a state of which you don't remember anything. Could have been worse. <clears throat> no, it could not have been worse. What? Well, it could have been worse. You could have lived with the decisions you've made. Well, when you say decisions I've made, I. How much do you know? Oh, I know everything. And you would have done things differently in my position. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's family, family drama time. Everything. We love family drama time. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> well. And you barely lived up to that. Okay. Let's calm it down. I'm literally opening snacks. <laughs> this company. But I'm sure you have a lot oh, to and, say. Oh, and this company knows exactly what's happened and what, from your decisions, put me through. You keep what, saying my through. decisions. How about you just specify which decisions, son? Oh, I don't know. Sending me to a church would be a big one. <laughs> Just to keep your little business alive. A business that still feeds us all to this day. Oh, oh, it's all worth it. Sorry. It's all, everything that's happened has been worth it. It's not like that church tried to indoctrinate me into a evil group that 
worship the dragons, specifically Tiamat, the, you know, big evil of all dragons. Well, how was that I supposed to know all After me, the group that's now after me has killed one of my closest friends. Don't it's forget, they story. hired a tutor who was a traitor the whole time. Uh, yes, the tutor Vala, who was one of these dragons that I've had to go and kill. Yes, you didn't know all that, but actions have consequences, father. Right, but putting the blame on all of that on me because I happen to be the one to ship you off to that temple is a bit of a stretch, wouldn't you think? Wouldn't you say? That's like me saying, well, son, if you wouldn't have moved to the next town over, well, we would have had one extra person to defend our town against these marauders that killed everyone. That's not really would... very fair, is it? How about not selling your son to the church in the first place for like a loving father. I barely even call you that. So I call you Archibald. You didn't raise me. Oh, it makes sense now. <laughs> yeah, shoes. Right. And the family secrets? You could have told me at any point. Didn't have to go through all this. Would you have believed me? Be nice to have known. Don't they have that right to know that this, what happened to you, could have happened to me? What if it did happen to me, and I had no idea? But it didn't. It did. I was tested too. I just passed. Okay. So what happened to me didn't happen to you then, right? Not fully, but I still lost my senses for a time. Right. I've made I understand it's been a lot for you. Questionable decisions. Happened. But <laughs> look at you now. Champion of Grumbar. Right? You don't get to claim that. I don't. All I'm saying is, regardless of my horrible parental decisions, you turned out quite alright. So let's not start pretending to suddenly care about each other. You have all the right to feel about me the way you feel. I made mistakes, yes. I shouldn't have done the things that I've done. But it's too late. I did those things. What do you want from me? Turn it all back? I can't. I admit, I shouldn't have done... I should not have shipped you off to that temple. Alright? I shouldn't have. But I did. Nothing I can do about that now. Nothing will change for you. I know you're set in your ways. That's fine. I... I could have left you how you were. No, I did debate that for a while. That's not fair to the rest of the family. Wouldn't have blamed you if you did. Just be good to the rest of them. Make up your mistakes with the others. Now that I have my mother senses back, I will. As while this conversation is happening, like your mother is just kind of sitting there, like tears in her eyes, but just very um, uncomfortable. <laughs> like, oh. Noi. Mm. Surprise, the rest of the group isn't very uncomfortable. <laughs> no, I'm also just... confused. Well, like I don't call you, I call you by your name because you didn't raise me. But then didn't he call his mom mother? Didn't she also? Wasn't she complicit in that decision? I'm so confused. Hey, There's man. some hypocrisy here. That's not a huge hypocrisy. He's, yeah. a, mo he's a mama's boy. Yeah. He's a mama's boy. <laughs> That's pretty really all Mom raised him quite a lot. Mom raised him quite a lot. Dad did not. Dad's an asshole. <laughs> um, I think it might be a good idea to... Given that your father has just woken up from a... Comatose state that has lasted a few years. Let him gather his senses for a moment. And I'm sure 
that if there are things that you need to discuss with each other, get them off your chest, um, you can. But right now, the last thing we need is more conflict. Give him a moment to regain his senses. Give him a moment to find the strength to stand up. There's a lot of things that me and him both failed to do right with you, that we tried to do better for your brother. Well, he's a little fucking bell in, so it shows how it worked out. What? What's that game here? Sorry, I've been biting my tongue for a long time. I just it had, something had to come out. Regardless, just just let's just let's go downstairs. Let's grab a drink, bite to eat, whatever it is, and then let's let's all calm down for a moment. Let's gather our thoughts. Oh, I'm, I'm very calm. Don't you worry about that. And I turn and leave. Yeah, she just basically kind of like waits for all of you to leave as well, and then she closes the door. And even though you're outside the door slash downstairs, there's a there's a, a lot of muffled voices coming from <laughs> that room. Um, but eventually, uh, she does join you all downstairs. And all right, um, anyone care for a cup of tea, perhaps? Or should I get the wine out? A cup of tea would yes. be fine for me. I think the rest might want wine. I will no, take one. What, what, kind of, what kind of tea is it? What kind of um, wine is it? Uh, wine, we were able to bring some bottles from our own cellar back home before we had to relocate. So it is. It's, it's good. It's very good it's red wine. Good shit, boys. <laughs> um, which I've kind of been saving for. I don't know, an occasion, I suppose. Probably the day we would hear news that we were able to leave, but seeing my husband awaken from his vegetative state that he's been in for many years, I feel like it's as good a time as any. As far as the tea goes, it's just some herbal tea that we bought here in this village town. Hell yeah, I'll go for that. Lazarin, can I, uh, <clears throat> can I borrow you for a, a moment? Of course, then. And we, we will step outside. Mm -hmm. Fucking hell, it's cold, aren't it? Yeah, it's fucking freezing. God, your dad's a fucking bell end. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? Yes. What, what the fuck, that? man? Doesn't all make sense now. I can't believe a church raised you better than a father could. That's wild. As much as I said well, I'm taking you as a green dragon. That really You're not seen. out of here, blue man. Shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, technically, the person I think of my father figure was Valor, so you know. God, that... Uh, um, <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Go out and pick him. Yeah, don't, don't worry. Again, not really by choice, but... Oh, it's the one who taught me the things I knew. I near enough bit my tongue off and dug holes in the both of my palms. Oh, Listen to that man struggle to find the words. Thanks for waking me up from a comatose state after several years, and sorry for being a massive fucking cunt. So how you refrained from beating him back into that fucking comatose <laughs> state, I don't know, but I bloody well nearly did myself. Um, it comes That's with true. knowing the man. No thanks or said. He is business driven. Why do you think I tried to strike a deal very early on in Eldalon? Just to get him off the back. I'll be honest, this is not family by blood, but not family by nature. I'll care for how, enough, how we ended up in the position he did, I don't know. Because. Oh, grandfather's wealth. It's generational. Oh, good. Good old generational wealth. The it's class. generational wealth. <laughs> Nepotism, baby. He old money. Nepotism, baby. It's old money, baby. He's it's very old Nepo money. baby. Yep. And from, just from, right what on can, high. From, from what I can tell, the brief interactions I've had with your baby brother, he's probably going to end up the same way. 
Oh, do you think my sister is the way? Sister is sort of the, the favourite of the family, or at least on father's side. Yeah, but she has a bit of a sense about her, at least. Yes, yeah, still sort of father's crony for a long time, though. Little bit of a sociopath, but... Again, have you seen the rest of my family? I feel like it's part of the course. Have you seen me? It's part of the course. I mean, some of them at least had a family around. I don't know, man. I just, I needed to, I just needed to, if I, if I didn't say it here, I was going to end up saying it inside. Uh, I will be and honest. And I feel like maybe your mum doesn't really deserve that. Uh, oh, she was lovely. I mean, she, at least she wrote letters to me. She kept in contact whilst I was in the church. You know. He didn't. Other than to see how, how well his investment went. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure he doesn't really fully understand the depths of his own cruelty, but. Less the fucking, time. the the triple down effect of the things that have happened since you ended up. I mean, the night webs, the override, the dragons. He'll never understand it, and he'll never say sorry. Oh, I know. Why do you think I... As much as it pains me to do it, for as much as I love the rest of my family. <clears throat> for a long time, I've been wanting to distance myself from them. Uh... It, the Venord Dumbbell I've... name does not ring tr very true to me. But someone has to carry its legacy, at least in a correct way. Show them how it's done properly. Well, apparently there's a whole... I don't know. Elemental... A cornerstone of existence that relies on it. But... What happens to him now? He'll probably... I'll tell him about the deals I've struck. Whether or not this might still be in place with the trap that I was on, but... You know. I'll tell him of the new world of Agrand. I'll tell him that he doesn't have to worry about his fortune for the future. And then he can continue his ways. Is he a liability knowing what he knows... Being put in the this way, I don't plan on contacting him any further after today. Hell yeah. That's on him. Drama. <laughs> if he wants to reconnect that, he can, but I'm not telling him anything. I'm not going to tell him anything today about what's going on. Unless they know the better. Don't want to put the rest of them at risk. And uh, he can do what he likes. If he gets himself in a position where he gets killed, then so be it. Don't want that to happen. If I came back and put into his senses. Do you still care for him after all? Yeah, is the reason I'm here. <clears throat> but no, for better or for worse, eh? Yeah, I know. But you know. Uh I have a duty of care to my family, as I have a duty of care to you guys. So what's your them? You're a better Make man sure than me. All circumstantial. Nothing so yeah. far has been chosen, so try to make the good choices whilst I can. Whilst I believe they're still in my remit. Who knows if they are or not. But for now, right. let's go enjoy some tea. Let's go have a cup of tea. Because it's fucking cold out here. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. yeah, as you go back inside, you can see... There's tea for everyone. Uh, your mother is drinking wine. <laughs> um, he needs it after today. <laughs> your younger brother is also having a cup of tea. Shortly after you enter, uh, the door swings open again and shuts uh, shuts again. And kind of barging in comes your sister as she lowers uh -oh. her hood. Well, I tried my best in this town to find any semblance of... Oh. Hello. Um, Hello. Met some of you before, right? I think just me, right? It's just you? Mm, well, um... Definitely um, not me. I'm horrible with faces, so don't take it personally. Um, and then she'll lock eyes with the Lazarin. About that. Sister? What brings you all down here? Up here. Oh, just making, just making sure that Archibald is in the finest tip-top condition. 
But of course he's not. He is I wouldn't be just now. sure about that. He should go upstairs. The favorite should go see. I... Someone's not bitter at all. <laughs> No better than to lower myself to petty squabbling in front of guests. But message received. Oh, that's not guests. Brother. <laughs> mm, she'll head upstairs. I just got it. Your mom kind of looks at you. And it's kind of... What? I get it, but is it really necessary? Oh, it's fun, though. Yes. I've been through a lot. And so have we. And I understand that your situation is probably a lot more intense than ours, but kind of... I'm very slow, mother. I don't mean it. Just perspective, you know? Like, for us, it's also not been a cakewalk. And I understand your bitterness towards your father. <clears throat> I understand. But do keep in mind that that is... Something that him and I are responsible for. Don't take it out on your siblings. It's not their fault. I'll try. But it's not really your fault either, is it, brother? Well, I could have tried harder to not... At least you checked up on me. And tried your best, considering... Doesn't really feel like I did enough, but well, I won't. You know how strong-willed he is when he sets his mind on things. Do I? I won't say any more. It is not your fault. You did what you could, and I appreciate it. I'll try my best to be, but just um, know a lot of <clears throat> And listen, I don't know what your plans are in regards to us after you leave here, but if there's anything you need to get off your chest in regards to your father, just go upstairs, talk to him, get it all off your chest, and then at least if this is the last he sees of you, and you see of him, at least nothing has been left unsaid, you know? At least... That way you can close this chapter and move on. I'll be in touch whenever I can. But listen, if you decide that you would never want to see or speak to him ever again, um, then that is very understandable. I can't say I blame you. But at least make sure you make that decision after you have let it all out. He is stubborn, yes. But between you and me, sadly, you inherited some of that stubbornness. Mm -hmm. Be very honest here, Lazarus. Well, I know. You know, it's two immovable forces trying to meet. Doesn't go well. I know. I won't be gone forever. You'll still see me around. Good. I'll but, make uh, sure this family stays well. I'll protect them. As much as I can. And as best as I can. Even if... <clears throat> in the future, hopefully not so have it had me. But I don't... Need to, I'm afraid. Don't do it because you feel like you owe it to us. You owe us nothing. You can say that again. I know. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't do it... Because <laughs> I want to or because I have to. I do it because... The <laughs> just the dismissive... To. Okay. It's just so <laughs> funny. I don't know. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Heartfelt family reunions happening right now. <laughs> oh, I better wait for the sister to come down before I start going up there. 
as you say that. She comes back down. Well, it seems he's okay. And she'll approach you, Lazarin. Though I do not understand the context of the circumstances that has led us to where we are now. Though I do feel some type of resentment towards you because of it, because somehow I feel like it's your fault. Oh, it's 100% my fault. I made all this happen. Thank you for the confirmation. You did cure father. Something I thought would never happen. Something... As much as I understand, I'm very well aware that you must have been tempted to not come back here and do what you did. So... Thank you, brother. No thanks needed. Just don't make his mistakes. I won't be keeping an eye. Which ones? There's lots to choose exactly. from. Exactly. Well, lot, a lot to miss then, isn't there? Um. Well, as much as uh, I'm not really. someone for pleasantries so it was lovely seeing you all thank you brother i um i'll be in my room she kind of just walks out of the kitchen area that you're in take care sister you too right i'm sure you probably want to see the fireworks that are about to happen but I would appreciate it if you didn't come into the room. It would be for the best for everyone involved, but I don't, because I cannot promise I will not punch that man's head <laughs> off his shoulders. Okay. At least be in... get a shot to see in case. Yes? Come spar on me outside or something. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed i'm not really a sparring type of person brooks just like cracks Physically. his knuckles yeah <laughs> no no del what do you mean you're not a sparring type of person what was that what does it even mean how do you stay sharp prefer <laughs> he talks uh hundreds of years of experience and uh arcane knowledge i don't need to actually physically exert myself yeah we can throw spells at each other i don't care and i just like oh okay okay i assume you meant like <laughs> weapons or fists or something i mean i have weapons for emergencies but i, mm. I don't enjoy using them all right but I nothing kinda, too powerful though I kinda, right i kind of want i kind of i kind of want to hear what's going on i'm so i still personally don't understand this dynamic so i fine fine, fine. Have a, oh, okay okay right. Right, yeah, i was I gonna know. say <laughs> <laughs> Davian rolls his fucking eyes and just goes and gets no, the shit kicked out of him by Brooks yeah. for a bit. But you know what? It's no, just I'll caving. go outside. We can do some magical dueling. Yeah. Uh, I will sort of. Uh, I'll go up to Kess and, like, I know Kirsty doesn't get met you, but I would. As much as I hate to say it, I would appreciate if you were nearby outside. At least one of you. I mean, you can put my vessel in your pocket and I can just hang out in there. Cause she can hear everything from in her vessel. I can hear everything in there. So if you need me, you can just say something. Hmm. Or if she decides you need her, she'll just pop out. <laughs> I would prefer you to just be outside with me. Yes, sir. You know what, Kes? Oh, fine. You can be in the vessel we can, in my pocket. We can fight as well. Oh, fucking fine. Run with me. <laughs> and Jax, you can do whatever. Lazarin. Hello. Um, can I see your armor? Uh, yes, of course. Oh, yes. No, take so off maybe Jax would be your best bet to be outside anyway, as the <laughs> the most uh, life experience and also oh, experience. Uh, I I will start undoing my fucking plate armor. It's gonna take me like fucking ten, ten minutes. minutes. I'll help you. <laughs> Fuck it out. Imagine not only I'm taking an action to get rid of your armor, dude. That's crazy. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, I'll help you. He says, doing it tighter. <laughs> <laughs> Am I doing this right? It's been a while. 
Uh, yeah, I'll take off my armor and give it to him. Oh, yes. Of course, you said you wanted to do stuff with it. Yep. And I'll spend the next hour uh, putting cold resist on our, both our armors. Oh, nice. yeah. Actual uh, genius. Very um, useful. Uh, that me. Resistance. Choose the resistance. Cold. Mr. Useful. Cool. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll go, I'll go upstairs. I'll go see Archibald. So he's managed to like kind of well, sit himself up straight. I will. I'll look for like a cup of tea, as well. And I'll sort of rest on the table, and I'll shut the door behind me. Listen. Believe it or not, these last few years, granted. I was not aware that that much time has passed. I do suppose I owe you at least a bit of gratitude for curing me. There you go. <laughs> that being said, Though you may never agree with the decisions I made, that's fine. You're a man now, old and wise enough to make your own decisions, and if one of those decisions you make is to break all ties with me because I am a horrible father, or have been a horrible father to you, nothing I can do to stop you. I appreciate you coming back here to cure me, although I'm still a bit confused as to where we are, but I'm sure your mother can fill me in. You're in Thermogar. Why the bloody hells are we here? Well, it's that will be killed by the secret organization of the church called the Nightwebs who are working with dragons, so you know. Okay, right. I... <clears throat> got two things that I wanted to talk to you about. First thing being, why didn't I let you in on the family secret? I intended to. My intention was to bring you in. I... I sent letters. Several. When I felt my condition worsening. You didn't send any back, so I figured, oh, well. At least he knows. Figured you didn't reply because you were feeling a certain type of way about decisions I made, which I didn't blame you for. But have you not received any of them? Are you blindsided by all of this? I'm the ones from Mother. That is... strange. It's not too strange, mm. knowing what I know now. The person who was... Valor, the, uh caretaker of me, or the my tutor was actually a green dragon called Brookshoff, who has been the general of Tiamat, who wants to bring back the end of us all, or assist in the enslavement of us all. So he couldn't have you receiving Obviously. many letters mentioning the override of our earthen ties, now that makes sense. Yeah. Oh. You still could have maybe come see me in person. Or told me any of the times I came to visit occasionally. I could have. You are right, I could have. But I didn't. But I could have. And you are right. But I didn't think it was... No, I don't know what I thought. So I, I've... Uh, I don't know. Right, I've done some questionable things. 
thinking back, why did I do those things? Don't know. Wish I could like give you a good it? reason. I don't have one. All right. So if you're here expecting some heartfelt explanation, tearjerker, I can't give you one because I don't oh, know. No, don't. Oh, don't worry. I'm not expecting you to suddenly change your entire personality, Father. Lovely. Because I'm not going to. Good. Don't that being said, that. there's one th thing that I need to ask. And this is important. Not to me, but to what you're doing. Mm -hmm. I, my memory's coming back of the visions and dreams I had. When you woke me up, what did I say? <laughs> oh, God. Why did I have to write this fucking down? Uh, I wrote it down. Uh, you mentioned of betrayal of mm -hmm. a black dragon. No. Uh, the location of the override. <clears throat> I wasn't a stitcher in there somewhere. Yeah, of betrayal. The betrayal was a Stisha, the Black the Dragon betrayal. was about the override. The betrayal was the Black Dragon. Betrayal. Does betrayal. Grumbar know the location? The current whereabouts I, of the override? I have no idea. I have no idea. One would assume he does, but I don't know. I don't think I he does. Spoken to him. The moment you woke me, I saw it. And it is not in any elemental, safeguarded place. I saw two, f three figures. I saw a being made of water. I saw this ugly fish-like monstrosity with, with humanoid features. I don't... I don't know how to describe what I saw. But she was very close to this watery being. I believe might have been a Stisha. And I saw a third figure. She looked small, humanoid. But as her shadow cast over the wall behind her, five dragon heads. I think you may have lost the override. I think somehow the Elemental Lords got tricked into thinking they still have it. This vision it didn't feel like my other weird dreams I've had. This one felt real, important, current. If you are going to continue on this mission for Grumba and by proxy the other elements, they should check. I will inform them. But good to know. I'm not surprised that the as much as I say arrogance of the elemental lords has come back to bite them. What is worth, Elazrin? I am happy to see that despite, you know, regardless of the decisions I made, whether you agree with them or not, I'm glad to see that you turned out strong. 
turned out to be come important. And every day I wish I wasn't. This is I think that choice. is one of the prerequisites. This is destiny, as it were. It's pre-conceived. But no, Father, that had been complete contempt for your existence. I have made and sure that the Venord Dunbar name at least keeps some relevance. If Agrind is to survive. It's a big we if. Have contacts over, we have contacts over there. And don't worry, your family fortune and name is very much in check. I'll make sure that there's no... Is that truly... Okay. You think that's the only thing I care about? In all the years I've known you... It's important to me, yes, but... It's the thing you care about the most. I'll keep make sure that name is good. Can't be soiling what you inherited. Don't want your grandfather any worries. It's because this name means a lot. If this name oh, lives on, regains or keeps its importance, not only will it make life a lot easier for me, you, your sister, your brother, but many generations to come. I know this is probably the last thing you want to hear from me, but I didn't just do this for my own pride and ego. This is to ensure that many more generations of our name to come could live comfortably. You just don't see it. Hopefully, there won't be too many more of our name, at least not with you at the helm. The dynasty will be... Oh. Let's just say, we'll create our own. Let's just be a s bad spelodge. You've done your damage, Archibald. But, as so much as I can't fault what you did to the others, there are some bridges that cannot be repaired. Especially considering you've had your chances to make amends. Hopefully you can see it's a little change. Don't expect you to change completely, but at least steer right. Take care of the family. So do care for the others. I just care enough about you just to make sure that they don't worry. Right. A lot's happened. To your decision. And a lot more healing and a lot more to do. I have my sense of duty. And the duty is not to my name, not to anything here. Duty is to the, to the land, to the people of this land. Yeah, so I'm sure best. you'll be able to find oh. um, more things to blame me for, regardless. Not really going to change anything, is it? Oh, I don't blame you. Oh, you... You were just... The circumstance that happened. Well. You did what you thought best. And that's fine. But... Father... He had it. Just a senile old man. I think it's time for you and your friends to leave now. Ooh. We'll leave when we're quite ready. Don't forget to join here because I made sure you were here. 
You'd be dead without me otherwise. You're welcome. I'll leave. Can't hold that over my head forever. Don't plan to. You won't be here forever. <laughs> Savage. I'm gonna uh, come out of the vessel. Uh, the second I'm outside the door, tears. <laughs> <laughs> like as soon as I just go. I just go. <laughs> 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 I, like, I like pat last one on the back. I'm like two seconds, and then I just like poke my head. Behind, from behind the door into the room with his dad is like, you suck so bad. Oh my god. Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, oh. I will, I, I like to, I would like to, <laughs> before she like, as she goes to the air, like, I have to, like, fucking grab Kess and just like, fucking, like, just like, it's just like, no! Kess is like, fucking, as much as he's an arsehole, he's an arsehole to me, not to you. Yeah, uh, pfft, so what? Do you think I care if it's you and not me? I don't, but, fucking, uh, just, that no. guy's gross. Hey, him. Kips is a bit sensitive to yes. daddy issues. I don't think anything my dad did was not show up. Kips, shut the fuck up, you can hear it. I don't care. Can... I do. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> no. You think you got the point when I said that? What the fuck is happening? Look, we're going to get on the high ground and I get to. <laughs> Go low. Yes, you really undermine the exit I had, okay? Like, I don't really get no, my... exit <laughs> my exit. My exit. I'm unrelated. Fucking, okay, let's go down the stairs, finish our tea, and get out of here before he fucking wakes up anymore. Okay. <laughs> and I'll go downstairs. Oh, God, do it quick. We're good. We're good. Before I see them, <laughs> no one needs to know. <laughs> Well, this is only a flying visit, unfortunately. Um, my mother take care of everyone. Um, I'll try to. Does anyone, does anyone else need to buy any winter clothes then before we leave? Oh, I didn't realize we're going to be here for such a short time. Oh, I'm. Yeah, we need to go out shopping. Um, mm -hmm. But um, I will. I'll keep contact. How are you doing for funds, by the way? How's everything here? Fine. Just go. Save the world. We're more than fine. I'll try my best to... Just... Take care. Also... No, I'll give... She'll kind of, like, grab you by the shoulder. I don't want you... to send us... Any more money. I don't want you to do any work to establish connections wherever you go. That is a task your father gave you, and a task you no longer need to complete given that he failed to uphold his side of the bargain, which was to be your father. He's lost you. He's fucked up. He's trying his best with your brother until he fell into this coma. Or whatever you could call it. You don't owe us anything. Any sort of duty you feel, don't. We'll be fine. This is a mess. Our family's business is a mess that is there for your dad and your sister to fix. You've got enough on your plate. Bring her into a big hug and sort of say into her ear. Unfortunately, that's not a choice you get to make for me. I still care about you and I'll still make sure that you're doing okay. See, this is the thing that I meant about the whole stubborn thing. It's not stubbornness. It just... I don't trust his way of running things. Just let me do that for you. Let me make sure that I know you're okay. You if you insist. As much as I... don't like him... I do love you, and I care about you very much. And I need to know that you guys are okay. 
because without that grounding, I don't know where I'd be. Very much lost. Got so. pretty big family around you at all times. These people care about you. I know. Why yeah. else would they be here right now? <clears throat> it's still good to know where I came from. I need that grounding. Well, sure as the hells is not some bumfuck town in the middle of Thermogar, that's for sure. I know. If you're really unlucky, I may have... I might do some work towards uh, the home when you get back. It might be a little bit nicer than when you left it. Oh, oh no, that sounds dreadful. You don't get much choice. I don't give it one big, like, squeeze. Uh, I will go to my younger brother and just sort of give him a, like, awkward pat on the back, kind of, like, hug. I know, we, mic body. I know we don't really know each other, but it's not really any of our faults, is it? No, you'll still see me. But, uh, I know I'm around. What it's yes. worth, mm, you know, you are my brother, so I do hope you stay safe. And um, is there any place I can... I don't know, send letters to or something? Uh, you can send letters to and I'll give him the, uh, like, send, send it to the Heroes of Exile Guild Hall. I'll keep it safe for me. The Heroes of Exile from the book? From the books? <laughs> yeah, from the book, yeah. Dude. Whoa. Met a couple of them. You dude, met a couple of what? them. what? Way cooler. Like, way cooler than in person. Like, Nicole. Uh, like, not, not, not big as a big police thought. And I tell you what, that like, some of the other ones, just like, dude, it, it, I'll try, and, I'll try and get you to meet someone. I read these stories about this, 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 this tiefling chick with a metal arm. She seems, if you met her, she's pretty badass. Yo, dude, she's in Thermogar as well. I bet I can probably pull what? strings if you meet her. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's here? I bet I, I think, I don't know. Apparently there's somewhere in Thermogar. Dude, I'll figure something out. Like, don't you worry. I'll get connected. Just also, I'll write you some letters about how to really annoy your older sister. There's some good oh, trust me, I'm, I'm really good at that. <laughs> oh, there's there's some that you might not realize. You just see her reaction when I. Oh, okay. This one one time I did kind of mess up, and I decided to um, replace her eyeshadow with just like this plum jam. Nice. Turns out she's oh, allergic to plums. Fun. Yep, Didn't no, know. Yep, <clears throat> so she had swollen oh, no. eyes for at Yikes. least three weeks. No, no, no. You see, what you do is you put tiny, tiny bits of plum, just ever so slightly, just in some of her food, and it's oh, oh, for weeks she thinks she's wrong with her. Oh, yeah, fun for life with that one. Just take care. See, not so bad. And I don't know. mother. Oh, I'm far worse than you think I am. But, uh, <laughs> I try. And I will just give one slow part and back, and I'll just shout to. I'm going now, sister! Take care, I suppose, or whatever. She'll, like, emerge from her room and kind of, like, from the top of the stairs, just look at you. Do try to stay safe, brother. Have fun with your soap. It's definitely not got any plums in it. She just like narrows her eyes and looks down at you. Don't get eaten by a dragon or whatever. Oh, I know. I can't have a little fun on the way. Turns around, goes back to her room. <laughs> I know. Fuck it, leave. Yeah. I'm out of there. And we'll say that you all. Kind of... I look at the group. And... I was like, look at you, I'm like, time to go, guys. <laughs> yeah. We gotta, you will say that you all kind of gather. Uh, you quickly go pick up yourselves some just some 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 winter winter coats. winter coats and whatnot. Some some nice thick socks, whatever it is you need for. Uh, I don't know. We'll say one gold. Get you I mean, a lazard won't need anything, but um, I'd still get like. A and then you teleport back to no, actually. Nope. Plane shift into the elemental plane. We'll say that you all gather your belongings. Ooh. Kess, you. Gather everyone up in a group, the group huddle, and you say some incantations. 
partially the correct ones, partially just saying random things for the sake of being you, um, making it seem more impressive than it is. And you all awaken as you open your eyes again on this beachfront wind blowing in the far distance, these, these large mountain peaks, snow-capped mountain peaks in the far distance. Uh, and around you, around this beachside, there's all these small little, kind of these, 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 these small little domiciles, little buildings that all kind of lead out to the same beach as you are now in the plane of air. And we'll, uh, we'll pick this up next week. Oh, oh shit, dude. What a fucking... So much I won't be drama, here. Drama, drama. What a family. Woo. That was really fun. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I hope I uh, no, played the, really I hope I played the part of the dad well because like, oh, from what I read yeah, it's man. like he's a dickhead he's not gonna learn he's a fucking mistakes. asshole yeah he's oh, gonna have he's gonna have, he's gonna have he's gonna have some semblance of like oh, you know. loves dad. he's gonna regret like, he he will. Gonna be like no he'll be like oh, like aware dad. that he fucked up but just kind of like not willing to admit it like basically saying everything in a way of like you know. I understand that you feel like I made mistakes, that you think this. That yeah, you, you, know you I mean? did it. Like, no, that's Koi, your you basically opinion. made my IRL dad. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that sounds very familiar, okay. just with different, less magical contexts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the whole yeah. hey, I I fucked up and you had to fix it, but I refuse to acknowledge or like thank you until I'm forced to that you had to fix it. I'm like, oh, too real. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. It's good to be back. Uh, thanks for all the resubs and all that stuff. Uh, this was session one hundo, and next Ooh, week we'll uh, session, start the hike to reach your next draconic Mountain. adversary. <laughs> and I will be, a good be one. here. It's gonna be a doozy. Koiba's not gonna be here next week, guys. This is the first time Koiba's gonna miss a session. It's the first Ooh. session I've ever missed. It's crazy. Man. So we actually get to have fun next session. Yeah, you get to actually have fun and not have like. <laughs> A depressed boy. Uh, but with that no, said, Jack, so, I mean, thank you guys for being here. Glad we were able to play again after uh, a couple of weeks of uh, hiatus. Um, it's good to be back. Hope you guys enjoyed chat. Catch y'all next great. time. Uh, this will be up on YouTube this week, together with the charity VOD from last week as well. And then we'll be back here next Sunday, baby. Peace out. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye.